pass. Yeah. Although I've made a lot more progress in that than I've made in uh, Binding of Isaac. Where are you at? Um, I've gotten... I, it's hard to tell because I'm not sure that I've Actually, gone places in order. Well, that's the other thing is there is no order, so... Yeah, so I've gotten, I've got one, I'm like eight hours in maybe, I've gotten, uh, I've got one bonus little HP bar, Um, I've got the Mantis hook, I've got um, the the Mothwing cloak, and... The Mantis hook, did you get that from a boss fight? Uh, No, it's, you go down to where the Mantis guys are. Right. And it's uh, an item that you. All right, cool. Yeah, you're not very far in. Then you got a lot no. left to do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Game's fucking good, dude. All right, boys and girls. Since we're all here, um, I have not updated the summary page yet, so we just go ahead and ignore that. Ah, right, well, um, fuck it. I don't want to play then. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> fine. I put I all this work into it, but fuck it. Yeah, fine. Um, so we were, um, at the, the temple, um, I believe we had just finished the fight, um, and we were going to do loot, is that correct? Yes. Yes. I yeah. watched the video, to be sure. You know, nice. Yep, I, of, I quoted of, him. Out of context, barring the giant monster, if someone came in and saw us looting the bullet and arrow and sliced corpses of several cl- in this town, I uh, that uh, that wouldn't seal us as good people in their eyes. I think. Yeah. I think that the monster is key context here and yeah. absolves us of all sin. We hope all sin, unless yeah. they're unless well, most of the town people are actually in on it to one extent or the other. Hmm. Which I mean, worst that comes to worst, has not been ruled out. I don't out. think the townsfolk are the threat, or like, are are exactly the threat, the threat to us. Yeah, <laughs> I'm worried about when Greedle, like, when his like face slips off and fucking <laughs> Hastur crawls out. Yeah. Do not invoke his name too many times. We loot the bodies. Okay, so we sploot the bodies. Um, how many cultists do we have here? Uh, there were six. Oh, right, because you guys came at night. I was like, there should have been more, but you circumvented six that. Six, and the vicar, and we were the, smart. uh, Sahwagan, or whatever he is. Okay, so I'm gonna write some of this down myself, XP-wise. All right. Oh, yeah. Um. So from the cultists, I'm gonna type this out for you. I appreciate it. Lynn. Wow. All right. That's good because we actually had run out of potions of. Or at least in the um, I need a knowledge religion check for one of these items. Ah. All the religious people look at the item. I shall question. assist. I may also assist. Actually, I think I could probably just roll. Oh. I do not assist. That's a 19 enough, Chris. So there are six of each. Six of each of those? Okay. Yep. Wow, that's going to be a lot. To... Okay, and that's where it could change. Hurt. Oh, we can all roll six times then. But that's... No. That's a lot. Oh, six. Oh, I see. Six of each thing. Yeah. yeah. So You've identified points. it. Um, it is a golden unholy symbol of Dagon. I knew it. Of course it's a symbol of Dagon. Yeah, that sounds old, Gotti. An unholy symbol of Dagon, though. I somehow well, doubt that there are any holy symbols of Dagon. I might actually have art for this. Oh, he's by. neutral, I think. I'll, I, I'm guessing oh, they no. probably he is touched. not. Uh, <laughs> he is chaotic <laughs> evil. Yeah, I, I think about all as the evil as they could get. How could he? Chaotic for some reason, I thought, I thought Dagon was like a pretty neutralish type of dude, or at least lawful evil. 
But uh, no, he he's is still a he's still he a great straight up one. chaotic evil. Is he an old like an old one or a demon? The largest of all known demon lords. Oh, oh okay. He's so lord. he's oh, so he's Not oh okay. Yeah, so if he's a demon, if he's the largest yeah. of all known demon we might lords, be, then... we might be breaching. Uh, oh, okay. Well, uh, eh. I would say that you would know a lot of that. Amounts of knowledge. I mean, he's basically like reverse Asmodeus, right? Because he's just yes, he's the chaotic as... Asmodeus. Yeah, yeah. His unholy symbol is an octopus eye surrounded by a gold disc inscribed with ancient-looking runes. Ah, fuck! It's a Cthulhu, man. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Yeah, Dagon is. Dagon Who could have guessed? Straight up Lovecraft. Would never have guessed. Never in a million years. All these, yeah. Never, ever, ever. Um, there you guys go. Hey, cool. yay! Nice. Cool. cool. That's actually a really cool unholy symbol. Just saying. It looks beautiful, but it's disgusting. Yeah. It looks like it would smell. Like it looks like it smells. Yeah, I vaguely that fishy. That's yeah. just what the symbol looks like. Obviously, these are more ornate. Yeah, and they're gold. Yeah, um, I'd like to believe they're just wearing clams around their neck. <laughs> yeah. If he uh, melted Under them down, the how much gold do you think they'd be worth? <laughs> uh, they're probably gold less gold. than one gold each. Yeah, I was gonna say like as soon as Plea like signs that, uh, Havlock just like looks at him and just like uses his twenty strength to crush the unholy symbol in his hand. And it's like the, it's vaguely coin shaped. By the end of it. <laughs> no, I was just gonna destroy it <laughs> to make a point. I don't think we ought to be profiting from uh, unholy. I don't think we ought to be selling unholy symbols of the evil god. I thought we did that though. <laughs> Again, <laughs> and, and more, and any more. But that those is. ones were those ones were valuable. It's different. It's, mullig- <laughs> it's a it's a mulligan last time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just shouldn't do it any further. Wow, potion of arcane plus nice. four is nice. Does anybody not have an amulet of natural armor? Because uh, you ought to take I one. I don't have any. The only magical thing there I have. There is only on one my... of these. This was from the vicar. Ceremonial tiara, unholy symbol of Dega. Uh, oh, hey, ring of swimming. And then I will see if the Guardian has any loot for you. Oh, I'm not fishing in that crustacean. I don't think he does, but I'll check. I am. Oh, God. He's Maybe Flea ought to take the Ring of Swimming? Um, I would he's... not turn it down. Well, I have uh, Dimensional Hop, so I feel like my... I feel like I already have something to help me in the water. Well... I put I put three points into swim and I still only have a five, <laughs> but that's because my strength is negative one. I just will the water away. Hey, look! It looks like the gold symbols, unholy symbols of Dagon, are worth fifty gold. But maybe just this one. this one. Just, just that one. The, wait, that this one's is worth more than the other. It's better. Yeah, the, the, the other they ones are made the same way. The, and pewter. <laughs> no, it's that. This one belongs to the vicar, so it's more ornate. Mm-hmm. Did he it. sign it? He probably signed it. That's why it's worth it's money. Yeah. It. With his got, dig. Got the, uh, it's got, yeah, it's, it's autograph of the vicar. It's just what is it? 49 gold. It's a back. That's a, uh, oh, like a religious garb. That's cool, man. I did, that, it's not, not often that I come across a word I've never seen before. Yeah. I came across Obviously, that when I was were not raised for Catholic. Words. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking uh, whenever I was looking for words to describe what like the religious people were wearing in I've never uh, heard it said though (laughs) just read it it's like what is that thing the Pope wears chasuble um sling with ten bullets (laughs) dope chas I'm not even writing it down um yeah anyone missing amulet of natural armor because if you don't have one, now is the time. Or a ring of protection. You definitely should uh, have at least a plus one of both of those. Unless you're wearing something else. Um, I don't think I have a ring. Uh, do I? Yes, I do have a ring of protection. Never mind. Well, normally my... Oh, for some reason the sanity 
the sanity thing is I'm gonna my take AC. one of the amulets. So the twelve became twenty three, but I have an AC of twenty three normally. But I don't have a ring of, or I don't have a necklace of any kind. You have normal twenty three, Jesus. Yeah. Well, I've got the the chain Just shirt and it's mithril. Chain shirt Inex and mithril. Inexplicable AC. <laughs> well, again, chain shirt plus mithril plus uh, the you get dodge bonus. Inexplicable, inexplicable AC. Blah, 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 blah. I can't speak. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and plus, I've got the plus one uh, herb. Gun buckler. So okay. Buckler. So I have cloak of resistance plus two and spell guard bracers. So you don't have a neck piece then, so you should definitely take one. Yeah, she and can take it. I'm have a ring. I'm not gonna have the ring too. Do you have, Do a, you ring? have a ring? Do you have a ring? No. A I no. I'm surprised by that. But those are good things to have. Definitely have the those. back page of your sheet when in the ring slot. Go to go to the PDF like the yeah the black I, I see back it. tab. It says belt, body, chest, feet, hands, neck, shoulder, ring, left, right, wrist. No. Oh, that's well, tattoos. Go. <laughs> <laughs> we loop the tattoos. Prison tattoos. So his flesh upon mine. That's how you get. Oh, it. I do have ring of protection plus two. I lied. Oh, okay, cool. Um. I'm not going to take do a potion of bark skin. Piece? I do not have a neck piece. Yeah, cool. I'd take hey, a potion yeah. of bark skin. Uh, uh, you can uh, also look do if you look I at YPCG. This is this is a a a good thing to to know. Look at your YPCG on the front page. Or do uh -huh. you use YPCG? I do. Yep, yep. Yep. That's where I just showed her was the the back page under equipment where it has your slotted items. So that's good, but an, another quick and dirty is to look at your AC on the front page, and it's got the whole breakdown there. Uh, your armor bonus, your dex mod, size mod, and then it's got natural armor and deflection, so so that you would know, like, do I already have something that's doing one of those mm -hmm. types? True, because they don't stack. Because they don't stack. Um, so, like, I have plus one natural armor bonus, Sacred plus bonus one deflect stack. mod, which would be both the ring of protection for deflect and... Uh, Natural armor for the amulet. Sacred bonuses, I think, show up in Misk on YAPCG. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, so you should take the necklace. I'm removing the necklace, so make sure you put it on your sheet and make sure it adds. Thank you. And oh, I guess I'm getting rid of one of the amulets, and I'm using one for myself. So now... Uh, I'd take one of those. Apparently I don't have a... Uh... Amulet of natural armor? Yeah, I'll take an amulet of natural armor. I guess I yeah. have cool. a... I think I have those are one. those are hot items, so I know we were always pretty judicious yeah. about who got them. Well, the only reason that I didn't have one was because I I used to have one. I think I gave it to you on Havelock, and then I switched <laughs> over to a ghost. My ghost had one, but we're can not we fighting say, many ghosts right now. Can we say because so far that's the at least the second item that uh you've upgraded and then given me your hand me down that like this is Havelock's like little brother moment, plea where he's like. I'm always wearing your hand me down. I've got your a belt of giant strength also. Uh, yeah, but you did help me Sounds pay like for the other the upgrade for that one. So right. <laughs> and then I think I paid for something for you, but I don't remember yeah. what it was. As Chris would say, it's a revolving door of kindness. Yep. Um, uh, anybody else not have an amulet? Uh, that'd be yeah. me. You well, want to take one? Take one. <laughs> of what? Amulet of natural armor. armor. Oh, oh, there there are six of them. Yes. Yeah, there are six of them. So everybody are, gets one. We're fucking drowning in these. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take one. We're we're just cool. dripping with natural armor. So now there's only two left, and I'm pretty we're sure you have one on Havelock, right? Yes. We are positively cool. moist with natural armor. Mm, moist. Okay. Anybody want to plus Sopping. one scale mail? Sopping. Right, calm, calm it's, down. It's just running down. Oh. Scale mail body. plus one. Anyone? Uh, no, don't do it. No, I might take one of the morning stars. It's a plus one already, which is pretty. There is only deep. one morning star. Oh, only one. Okay, so you're welcome um, to it because none of well, us can a, use it. <laughs> it's a simple weapon, which is. I guess I could use it. it, and it's already magical. Um, unless one of you wants to use it, Zoo. What is you your? What is your? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but I have a I have a plus two fucking oh, amazing true. magical sword. 
the only reason I would use it would be for the bludgeoning damage if I needed it, or... Uh, well, I do have a mace as well, but it's not going to be a big difference. It's going to be pretty negligible. Is a morning, um, a morning star is a D8, I think. What's a mace? It's a D8. I think. Mace. I was thinking a mace was a D6. Heavy mace is a D8, also. Oh, okay. Heavy mace. I think mine is a heavy mace. Uh, okay. Um. So at this point, kind of the um, the hustle of combat has ceased. Um, you guys have looked over their bodies for anything useful, like you do. Um. um yeah. I think Ilix has been like somebody mentioned the the necklaces and she took one, but she's been mostly like keeping an eye out, uh, listening to see if there's like anybody else lurking about, or if you know she hears somebody like, hmm, I wonder what's going on in the temple. Ball. So I can roll a perception if you like, <laughs> or damn it, Bobby. Uh, Damn it, Damn it, Bobby. Why are you letting <laughs> all the trouble? <laughs> yeah. uh, so shall we all also take a potion of bark skin and a potion of cure moderate wounds? There are only two potions of bark skin. Oh, left? Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, yeah, I'll take one then. Um, yeah. I I took one. All right. So what is this perception for? Just checking to see if you hear anybody, any movement or anything? Uh, yes, looking, like, if I hear anybody, like, creeping along in the side rooms, or if I hear anybody, like, coming in off the street. So that should be actually, like, a 26, because this is hearing-oriented. Um, yeah, I, I don't think you can discern that kind of thing between... Okay. Um, everybody like moving around, and yeah. unless you get everybody in your party to quit moving, um, and you nope. do like put your ear up against a wall or something, I don't think you're gonna okay. hear through stone. Sounds good. Uh, you hear the trickling of the water from the the room that Leopold has walked into. Yeah, I was kind of like checking out the. Because this is this is where it came from, right? It didn't like. Yeah, pop this is the secret um, chapel that opened yeah. up. Okay. I look around the secret room um, as I ask Zenesis for healing. Ooh, <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll relay to uh, Leopold that uh, we there was a, a lever or a switch on the back of this statue that we flipped, and that's what uh, lowered the false wall to. Uh, to did Open anyone come out? And that's where the thing was. Did did, did any of those clerics come out of these? Rooms? I don't remember. Did they come out of here? Uh, uh, you don't remember any of them coming through those doors. Uh, let me give you a little description of this room first, uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The secret wall is dec uh, oh, sorry. Behind the secret wall is decorated floor t um, to ceiling with disturbing carvings of devilfish, kraken, octopuses, squid, and other bizarre sea life, as well as unsettling depictions of human women mating with strange fishmen from the sea. Um, at the far Ooh. end of the room, a semicircular pool of water stands before a large blood-stained altar. Um, on the wall above the altar, a carving of a giant um, unwinking octopoid eye gazes over the room surrounded by sinister twisting runes. Disgusting. And also arousing. What? You're fucked up. Um, it appears great, this, man. Uh, it appears this, uh, this cult of Dagon has uh, indeed uh, become a much more corrupting influence than we had anticipated. Do I know anything about the ritual that might have taken place on the altar? Uh, what now? Sorry, I was blowing my nose. Do I, do I know anything about the ritual that might have taken place on this altar, given the amount of blood? Um, or of religion? I guess might be that it uh, had something to do with creating that sign back there. 
Um, the best I can give you with an 18 is that you know that there, I mean, probably the obvious conclusion is that there was some sort of blood sacrifice done here upon the chapel's altar. Um, cool. Do I know about how long ago? Uh, that would be heal, probably. Do I know any better? Uh, you would. Um, but not a whole lot better. Uh, so you, I mean, you definitely identify the symbol, um, on the far wall as that of Dagon, which shouldn't be terribly surprising, um, given that you know yeah. everybody here has been worshippers of Dagon. Um, you suspect that the blood sacrifices were probably, um, knowing Dagon, um, as you do, uh, were probably in the form of, like, condemned rituals, um, perhaps an overcurious outsider or a disgruntled townsperson, um, who maybe said too much, uh, uh, would have been put to death here. Gotcha. So it could have been us. <laughs> well, you don't imagine that that would go well for keeping the secret here, so it's probably not, like, a common thing. Um, it's it's one of those things, like, if if you were in on the secret of this temple and you were, like, a loudmouth, that would be the way they dealt with you. Yeah. Or if you had not left when they asked you to, um, and, you know, not been able to massacre them all, uh, then, yeah, probably you would have mysteriously vanished in Ilmarsh. Wait, there are people who can't... <laughs> Massacre a scion and I, their I know, six right? clerics and Weird. scion. Or, uh, Please, uh, we call these people normies. <laughs> They're not like you and I and Ilix and that guy with the very, very strange bow that makes a loud explosion sound. <laughs> they can't just go tear through an entire Plea, town willy nilly. Plea says to, signs to Havelock. Um, that Leopold calls it a gun, except for it's a sign, so it it doesn't actually have the meaning. He gun does it. finger guns. <laughs> he, he does finger guns, but like Havelock probably still interprets that as loud explodey bow, because uh, <laughs> he's never Havlock, actually said the word. Havelock kind of mm. elbows him and goes and leans over and whispers, "Shh, I I've been trying to to avoid mentioning that he's been mispronouncing the word bow all this time." It must be terribly embarrassing for him. I simply thought it was how they said it in uh, the land he hails from. Yes. Uh... I mean, you ain't from Irison. You don't. <laughs> I just imagine that <laughs> Leopold said that, like, you don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me. So, how long did these? Uh, so, in order for somebody to create a potion of pure bark skin or pure bark skin, a bark skin <laughs> for plus four. Uh, they would have to be, like, level 12. Mm -hmm. um, does that mean these potions last for 120 minutes? 10 Pretty minutes damn per level? legit. That's a good long time. And I think they'd... No, plus 5 at 12th level. Wait. So they'd be uh, 9? They'd be our level. Please? Oh, increases by 1 for every 3 caster levels above 3rd. Plea, I thought that there were more bark skins. You should probably have this bark skin potion. Okay. I take them. Because uh, you them. are a... Because you punch. You punchy. You punch the things. All right, so it's 90, 90 minutes, probably. Yeah. Still pretty good. Uh, um, all right. Uh, no, so... sorry. It's actually the level... Oh, I guess it is, because it's plus two, then... Right. Okay. Never mind. Um, okay. yeah. All right. So, uh, I, I have like turns back to Ilix and, uh, he says, uh, Ilix, you had, uh, you had examined these rooms before. uh, what did you notice? What appears to be the way forward? I hadn't made it this far. I only made it into the antechambers. Uh, yeah. He hasn't been into, room. uh, this room or this room. So, uh, okay. I would be surprised if any of the temple's defenders remain. Sure. They seem zealous enough to uh, come all at once. So, Zinesis, uh 
How mm -hmm. are you looking on spells? I could probably use a cure light wounds if you happen to have one. Oh yeah, yeah. No worries. I'm I'm actually doing quite well on spells. And heal. Uh play investigates the south door while I assume Alex investigates the north door. Uh sure. Um Oh, okay. Uh fun. Love that. Yep. Got uh Actually, I'll probably see if uh, well Leopold shifted, so um, I'll I'll have somebody Oof. open oh, that's the door. Perfect. Actually, it's... it might be best to do these at once, just just in case, like not at the same time, but like one at a time is what I mean to say. Well, I'll cover. This oh, thanks. Time. That's much nicer. I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't like going Are... back and forth. Oh, okay. Um... It sounded like sarcasm a second time, and I was like, wait. Yeah. Sarcasm if we open both doors, sarcasm if we open one door at a time. I don't know which to believe. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Ilix will back up Plea with a, an, an arrow Plea ready. Enters uh, the no, door. Step, step, step back real quick. Oh, never mind. Plea does not enter the door, Fist Strong. Ilix does not follow. He finds a mine <laughs> wall blocking the path. So oh. as soon as you crack open the door, um, there is a, a young couple in here. Um, and they both gasp and throw up their hands. Um, what do you do? Havlock gasps and throws up his hands. Uh, so he waves Havlock over to talk to them as he steps into the room. Yeah, over here. Helix keeps Guarded an arrow. Still. Yeah, Helix keeps an arrow ready because we're looking for two riders. Um, ah. Uh, Havlock looks them up and down. What do they look like? Um, they, average. They look like they are from Ilmarsh. They have that sort of weird quality to them. Um, they also smell uh, like Gross. they live here. So you know, below uh, average. Looks like an elven lady and a ne'er do well. <laughs> a scallywag. <laughs> yeah. Um, Havlock steps in, uh, looking them over suspiciously and says uh does this look like a prison cell uh no um a simple wooden bench stands against the far wall of this small chamber next to a dark pool of water uh havelock holds his sword up and says uh what are you doing here um the young woman looks over to the the young man and he sort of nods as though uh, like, yes, just tell them. Uh, he has a sword to your throat, you know? Um, yeah. And, and she says, w we, were, we were just waiting for the vicar to come back. Um, we, we were here for the fostering, and, and that's, that's it. Who, who are you? The fostering? Uh, mm. So you are with... Um... You are with the vicar in that case. Uh, you are with the uh, this uh, this church of Dagon. A church of who? We're, uh, have we were just here to give our our daughter up for for fostering. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know what your quarrel is with with, but I, I don't think. I, I don't think we did anything wrong. You gave your daughter up fostering to these priests. Uh, Sacrifice. It's Lee taps Havelock on the shoulder and signs. I don't think they know what's going on here. It's been tradition for many, many generations. I is, did we do something wrong? I believe you've done something very, very wrong. Um, can I? Hmm. Can I roll a knowledge to know, like? Hmm. Uh, well, what I'm thinking is like these people are offering their children that get turned into monsters. I don't so think like, they oh, know what's going on. <laughs> well, I know they don't. Because um, they're fucking ne'er-do-wells and, and mouth-breathing yeah. idiots. Backwoods peasants is what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> what I'm talking about is I might know with a knowledge religion check or something like that that well, this no, is like a, a practice. Awesome. Matt, you can try. Okay. I think you'll have more luck with them with probably diplomacy or intimidate, too. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna roll to see if I understand. If I no, nope, probably not. Definitely not. Um, Havlock uh, will look 
uh, between the two of them and say, uh, explain to me more about this fossil. People of Ilmarsh deliver their children here to this place? Hmm. Nice! Fucking got I'm just em. eavesdropping and listening to the Um, Your knowledge religion does not give you even a perfect role does not give you understanding of what this not arrangement from their place. is. It does not <laughs> sound like any um, ritual to Dagon that you've ever heard of. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like it's related to Dagon, though. Yeah, do you, could you explain more to us? I... A real diploma. Havlock That's... lowers his sword um, and attempts a, a less threatening Oof. posture. Okay. Keyword so you, attempt. Yeah. I uh, don't think that's going to do it. Um, Havelock, why don't you give diplomacy as well? Yeah. Um, Havelock will uh, lower his sword and sigh and say, uh, you have no idea what's going on here in this uh, in this chapel then? Fuck. Uh, let me think about this. You're very close if you're helping each other out. Uh, all right, so I'll just do it this way. Um, so you just asked her, you just basically told her that you asked her if she did, didn't know what was going on here. Right. I wanted more information on what fostering was. Then I'm helping her then. Uh, I'm just trying to like. Well, beam. we we know that. Um, I I guess if if you're not from here, then maybe you don't know. But, um, the neighbors down bay have always brought good good luck and good fortune to our village, and things aren't the greatest right now. But um, uh, it's been tradition for for many years that all uh second and third daughters are are given to the neighbors for fostering. Second and third daughters. Why only daughters and... Oh, I still don't understand what fostering. Does that mean the priests take them under their wing? No, the the neighbors take them to raise them, of course. Who are these oh. neighbors down bay? Uh, they kind of look at each other guiltily, and um, they look down at the floor and say, to be honest, we've never met them. Of course not. I don't suppose that you uh, deliver your child for fostering by placing her in the... Is this flowing water? Uh, it appears to be a pool of water. How do you deliver your child to these neighbors? Why only daughters? I believe the, uh, the mural back there shows the fate of... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I I cover my mouth when I say that. Um, oh, oh, God. Um. So, in general, what happens is they bring their daughters into this room, and the priests have like a discussion with them to kind of um smooth any rough, ruffled feathers and stuff, and then the child is left in the room. And everyone steps out. Um, when they come back, the child is gone. Uh, hmm. Um, as soon as this kind of steps out of the room, she she's not happier or comfortable anymore. And you all did not see the great beast. There's no other way. This is where it lurked, and you were behind a door, the only access into this room. You came not across the creature. Uh, no, we, I we came in through there, and she, she points to the wall on the west side. Oh, there's a doorway? Uh, you don't see one. Mm. So she points at the Oops. wall and says what? Uh, we came in through there. Through where? Um, so... With the benefit of her pointing it out to you, uh, sure enough, you walk over there and you find 
uh, what looks like a uh, an outline of a door um, that kind of goes along with the brick pattern. Um, and you uh, really wouldn't have noticed it if it wasn't pointed out to you, probably. Mm -hmm. um, but it does appear that this is some sort of secret door uh, leading into the room next to it. Is there any special uh, any special knowledge required to pass through this place? I I don't think so. You just push that stone on the wall there, and it, and it opens up. I push the stone on the wall. Uh, and sure enough, it loudly uh, grinds open. <laughs> yep, exactly. I turn back to them and say, uh, the, cu the cult of Dagon is responsible for uh, monstrosities and atrocities. If you all delivered your child to them, there's no telling what might have happened to her by now. Uh... Uh, all right, I. What do you want us to do about this? I... Spread the word and stop. Showing a little concern for the child uh... you just delivered to the for sacrifice might might be a start. Uh, sacrifice. But... Yeah. Did, what? Were you listening when I was talking a second ago? Well, we didn't think there was any sacrifice. Uh, Ilix is gonna grab the grab the woman by her cloak and like haul her into uh, this the ceremonial chamber, whatever we want to call it, and yeah. point at the like the mural that depicts the the women uh, cavorting with fish creatures. Havlock grabs the man by the scruff of his uh, of his his neck and and hauls him in as well. Um, follow me. Havlock yes. seems to be... What are you wanting to show us? I thought Ilix was gonna... Yeah, I I, I drag them in and I show them that I indicate to the, the image of you know, ladies, ladies getting busy with fish monsters. Sexual acts. On... I'm also just gonna kind of point at the gigantic fucking monstrosity at the end of the gesture vaguely to the giant scion. I mean, it's it's the temple guardian. I don't think they would think it was that weird. But um, but in terms of the mural, um, I think the uh, young lady um, will sort of sigh dejectedly and say um I suppose that might be what happens to them, but this is the way things have always been, and we may not like it very much, but I I don't think we're All going right, to be I'm, able to change that. I'm detecting that. evil on these fucking... Is All this right. for real? Go ahead. I'm doing it. I they did are it not I'm evil. Gonna, during, during, this, during this argument, I'm going to peek in the other room. This is like one of those, like, like were all the Nazis evil? type deals. <laughs> like, they, they individually were not, but they were part of an evil well, enterprise. Well, they're, like, brainwashed. Like, they truly, like, they seem to believe this shit is, like, perfectly legit. Like... Well, it's like, sacrifice a few for the good of the community. They're probably also stupid. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, salt of the earth. Well, thing. ignorant. Yeah. Like, I mean, they don't ignorant. seem thrilled to have been made to give up their daughter. But... They, they also seem pretty chill about it. They're also like, well, n no, but they're not they're like. Good. You, you seem to be emboldened and like, like de in desiring to like change it, which is not something that they have. They're not like thrilled by the situation, but they're also not like suddenly wanting a crusade to get their daughter back and fix everything. You know, it's. That's it's weird. That that's how just, a normal person would react to to being forced to give their they, daughter up to they, fuck fish they monsters. They have been brainwashed. I mean, it's like literally it, they, they live in a society where this is the case. Yeah, like, this is how it is. It's been this way for at least six generations. Yeah, that's like saying that people in the Middle East should have a problem with, uh, like children wives. It's like they 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 might not like it, but it's just how it is. Like. 
they don't see in, like they don't have this inherent desire to change the world because of something yeah that they don't i mean see. you can certainly try to persuade them but i, I, mean, I be the point they're not really the crusade type i mean they're level one commoners they're not they don't really feel they have the power to change the world <laughs> I mean, my issue is that they don't even really seem to be... They seem, like, indifferent. <laughs> like, they're just like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Every third daughter, you gotta you gotta give, you gotta sacrifice to Sometimes become you just gotta fish breeding chambers. Um, what are you gonna do? Uh, well, I think do you think Felix it's... Is... Do you Good. think we could get her back? Like, won't that doom the town? Uh, Havelock just kind of like plants his face in his palm and he says this play this cult this cult is using people of this town to breed with you are you are at, being at, exploited yeah you are being exploited what was this... the god that this was uh like the, the dual well gazra gazra i guess um this is not a temple to gazra as you had thought a cult has infiltrated and taken over they're exploiting your weakness and your ignorance for their own ends they're using your people to breed and multiply their numbers this place is a farm to them nothing more i don't think that ending that would uh would doom the town quite the contrary i think you would flourish without them. are you certain well maybe not flourish but this this town is at fester, perhaps would be a better <laughs> term. The rot would be expanding, not necessarily. <laughs> Come uh, to think of it, perhaps. <laughs> I, but well, our troubles really started when we stopped being able to, when we stopped hearing from the neighbors. What trouble? Less fish and more disease and disappearances. You stopped hearing from the neighbors. I yes, I heard. Please. I, perhaps I wasn't supposed to listen, but I, I heard some of the priests talking about how they hadn't seen or heard from the neighbors in quite some time. Havelock just kind of like uh, taps his finger on his chin, stroking his, his beard, and he says, uh, hmm, I wonder if these original neighbors were in fact servants of Gazra, and they've been replaced by these servants of Dagon. That might be why you, uh, why this be. town ceased to receive help and then suddenly received it again in exchange for this, this mal malignant ritual. Or perhaps they'd had their fill of your well, daughters. Well, uh, the man to... speaks up now and he says, "Well, I don't. To be honest, I, I, I heard the same thing, and I, I don't think the neighbors have been here to take a fostering in, in a few weeks now. Um, the father, the, um." The father took our, our baby up to, to the house um, to see if he could make contact with them directly, I, I think. Where is Which this house? house? <laughs> oh, uh, for, forgive me. Um, the Undiomede house, of course. That sounds familiar, out of character. Do we Have we heard something about that before? Uh, yes. yes. It is the... Um, the former like pirate smuggler guy who was granted a lordship. Oh yeah, uh, right. the guy, like the town founder. Yes. Yeah. Founded gotcha. The town. We remember his name because it sounds like Diomede. It does. Iomide. It's Iomide. spelled right. like exactly uh, like Iomede with und U N D in the front. Yeah. Um. It's very close, anyway. Okay. That um, sounds like our next destination. Aflock says, uh, uh, stay here for a moment. We need to uh, examine the rest of this town. Please. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Roleplay me that. Like, why, why did that get botched? I think he, exactly what I just said. Is exactly how it was oh, mishandled. Okay. No, when he, when he says, but when he says, please, a huge bit of phlegm comes flying out of his mouth right <laughs> under the guy's. I don't know yes. about that. I don't uh, know. That sounds like a nat one moment to me. Okay, so here's how I'm imagining this. Um, Havelock begins to walk towards the other room to check it out. 
Um, and he says, please wait here. Or he says, just wait here. And then he has his greatsword in his hand and he swings around and he says, please, but he's pointing his greatsword at her. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, he she... just he did it sort of absentmindedly. Like, he wasn't intending to be threatening, but, like, it kind of came yeah. across that way. It's hard not to be threatening with the greatsword. Right. <laughs> yeah. Probably still dripping blood and 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 fucking Quite possibly. Biscuits. Oh, there's gross shit all uh, over. Um, yeah, like layers. So I blood. think um, they uh, are definitely fearful of you again. Um, yeah. So she steps back from you. Um, they don't appear to be like thinking about making a run for it or anything. Um, so you suspect they'll cooperate, but um, they might not be so loose-lipped any longer. Uh, right. Plead gestures back to the bench they were sitting on when we found them. And uh, just gives them a warm smile to kind of make up for Havelox. <laughs> and let's see how Plea does. Not not much better. Nope. <laughs> somehow somehow better and worse. Um, so they, they go along with it, but they don't seem like reassured, uh, really. I want to examine this secret room. It's a toothy smile, and Plea is kind of beat up. <laughs> Fair enough. It's just kind of like bruises all over his face. <laughs> All right, so I'll crack this door open, um, and then I will reveal this room, uh, which looks oh. to be much like the southern room, only uh, once you open the door to this room, you find... Uh, this would be the north room. Um, da -da 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 -da. A pool of dark water takes up the entire northern portion of this simple room. A plain bench stands against the far wall. Neatly arranged on the stone floor are several bodies, each of which is missing its head. Oh. Uh, hmm. Well, that's not good. Yeah. Uh, have life. Do these look like I, uh... townsfolk? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, yeah. Why don't you check that out? Uh... uh... Well, my perception was initially to uh, okay. to see if there was sure. a hidden door, but I think I probably would be that would roll would be probably broken because I'm like, oh my god, there's dead people. So I'll I'll this roll will be to examine the okay sure uh, the people to see if they look like locals. All right, um, all of the bodies are missing their necks. Um, they end in gory or their heads. They miss they end um, in gory stumps. Um, several of the corpses are withered and shrunken, as if drained as of their life. Um, da, 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 da. Um, I... You guys, somebody can give me a heal check if they want to figure out like okay. more of what went on here. Um, but... I'll assist the heal check. <laughs> well... Sure, yeah, I will as well. Yeah, also, yeah, bring Elix in here. She knows what she's talking um, about. All of the bodies are dressed like normal, ill marshered mm -hmm. townsfolk or fishermen, except for one, which wears the clothes that are more fitting of an urban merchant um, than a humble village fisherman. I'm gonna search that guy. Wasn't there a dude that they said was in town a few days ago? Um, yeah. So with that, he... with that heal check, um, Havelock, uh, you note that there is insufficient gore in this room for the total destruction of the body's head to have occurred in here, um, as one would have expected to see great splatters of blood across the wall, as well as obvious pieces of debris um, from, you know, decapitation. Yes. Looks as if they the bodies were decapitated. Else else, my guess would be on that uh, platform sure on, on the dais bad. out there. Um, it appears that these bodies died due to decapitation. Yeah, that's about what you get. Uh, but I'm going to say, yeah, but there's a lot of blood and gore out here on the dais, isn't there? Um, there, There is, but not enough. Not even... There's water. They could wash it off. Maybe. I detect magic Maybe, uh, on these on these weird pools. Uh, perhaps... you don't detect any magic from the water. Perhaps yeah. the the beast ate their heads. Maybe. I don't, I don't think we have enough information. It is a it is a capital mistake to begin to theorize without sufficient data. 
my well, dear. Well, I'm checking. I'm checking the travel. Uh, like Helix. a true inquisitor. All right. Um, give me a. She slaps you in the shoulder. <laughs> well, actually, I don't think you need perception to search him. I mean, that uh, da, 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 da. he ain't going nowhere. You don't think nowhere. you'll be able to identify him, but you suspect <laughs> well, yeah. um, that as a likely outsider to the town, other people might be able to identify him. Mm -hmm. um, Especially if we take note of his attire and yeah you know. does he does he have an id he... a search well, of his he... pockets turns up yeah. coins totaling 22 gold pieces okay um so and a small on. uh ceramic egg wasn't no there wait no the yeah wait. the egg hold on we have Can... a small ceramic egg yes small wooden carving yeah. egg. Can... Is there a little a hole on the side of it, like last? Um, no, it had a. It was a. It was a secret um, symbol. Upon close thing. examination, you uh, do yeah, find a seam very similar to the last one you found. Um, and when you, um, well, you need to disable device in order to open it up. Well, I popped the last one open. I don't know if that gives me a circumstance bonus, but they... we'll see. Oh yeah, Ooh, you nice. easily. Um, find the seam and pry it apart with your fingers with a very satisfying pop sound. Um, inside, you reveal the symbol of the Whispering Way. So then... That accounts for one writer. Yep. Well, this is the second one we found, so does that account for both? Um, give me perception. Um... Jesus Christ, Leopold. Okay, um, so Leopold, Leopold, while searching his body, um, you mm -hmm. also find a scrap of paper um, in his pocket with the following note scrawled on it. Rider on way with effigy. Meet mm. at old house outside town for exchange. Ah, uh, another one of their agents. Like the one left in the barn. House outside of town? Could that be the Undiomi house? Um, and indeed, Leopold, from your from your prior encounter, um, you recognize this paper as lining up to the page that was torn out of the sales ledger in the Lushmore or the Thrushmore livery stable. The Lushmore. All right. Mm. So then, chances are he sent that as a message. They might still be. Perhaps we should go check out this house. Uh, signs are pointing that direction. Yes. My guess would be the Undiomi house is indeed the place. Perhaps we should still... Should we go tonight, or should we go in the morning? Um, I think I've, I've still got a bit of, uh, of kick in these old bones, but depends um, how, how far uh, out of town this house is. I, 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 signed, to the, I signed to the group that uh, perhaps... Uh, we should find a way to deal with the corpses uh, left in the temple. I'll just tell Greedle about it. Consider leaving town mysteriously. <laughs> um, I, I want, in case we need to be welcomed back for any reason, I don't want to be you know we the people that massacred the temple. Perhaps we ought to finish <laughs> examining the place before we start making arrangements for the rest of the bodies. Uh, plea goes into this this room over here. Um, I'm looking at this one. Is there anything in here? Uh, besides from some beds and a desk? Um, just a second here. Okay, um, so that room um, is the vicar's dormitory. Yeah, dormitory. Words are hard, okay? Sure. Um, three beds stand along the south wall of this simple chamber, along with two small desks, a chest, a table, and a bookshelf. Um, I 
I don't think there's anything. Uh, the bookshelf holds tomes dealing with fishing, tides, lake, and sea life, and a single dusty copy of Gazria's holy book. Um, other than that, I don't think there's much in this room. I detect magic. Um, there is no magic in this room. Okay, I grab Gazray's uh, holy book and uh, and open it, um, kind of flitting through the pages. Okay, um, it is called Hymns to the Wind and the Waves. Hmm. Uh, let me get my Inner Sea Gods book out. There doesn't appear to be anything. No secret notes, no... No, it appears to be a genuine copy of the book. It just hasn't seen much gotcha. use. I, uh... Can't imagine why that would be. It's weird. I grab it, and I, I take it, and I, uh, I hold it out to this couple and, uh, and hand it to them. Oh, uh, thank you. And um... I say... I point at it and I tap my finger on the cover like three or four times pretty forcefully and I say, read this thing cover to cover and I promise you, you will not find anything in it about de delivering children to Gazra. Uh, spread the word around the town. No more of this delivering children for fostering for these fish orgies. Do you think that you'll be able to find our daughter? That's the plan. Okay. Um, if you've done a good enough job spreading the word, when I return, I'll I'll return her to you. How about okay. that? Oh, God. Oh. Wow. I think that's evil. No, no. What is the no, party thing about that? They, don't get to, they do not get to get mad about a threat of keeping the daughter away from them after finding her. She's but probably I, in a better place if Havelock is carrying to, onto her. I didn't threaten to kidnap her either. No, they I think already that, gave her away. I think that's exactly. the fact that you'd promise that you'd... The, you're saying that you would find the child at you, you get it sounds like a guarantee that you would find the child and give it to them and the thing is there's no guarantee that we would find the child i'm not guaranteeing it i'm saying that's the plan that i'll find her and if i if they've done a good enough job reforming the town by the time i get done saving their daughter maybe i'll actually maybe they'll actually be worthy of how of like right. caring that's, for her again it's if there's a daughter to save like if she's still alive or well, gotcha. perhaps we should show them the northern. She starts crying. Uh, <laughs> I I smack the the middle of his forehead and I say, "Be healed." <laughs> I said oh she starts crying, but yeah. I grab uh I grab a a handful of the water and I splash it on them. I say, uh, "I rechristen you as good as better parents than you were when you when you." Gave your daughter away. Now, take these uh, lessons I have taught you and mend thine ways, peasants. Be gone, Be gone from this place. They and seem like they're still totally terrified of you. Um, I, I walk so out. They, <laughs> they don't say much. Um, uh, like, I think she cries a lot. Um, and he... Good! He she gave her daughter away to become a fish slave... A uh, prostitute. Mm-hmm. Fish fuck these, fuck these fucking backwoods inbred pieces of shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm kind of with with Havelock on this. All right. Uh, Fair enough. Plea signs to Zinesis that uh, he doesn't think Havelock would make a good priest, and perhaps that she should be giving <laughs> the religious lectures. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think you'd you'd be much better at it, but. <laughs> I'm an inquisitor. Like it's my job to to met out uh, the the discipline uh, when yep. it's needed, and uh, I think they needed they needed a stern mirror gazing. I, I agree. What the actually, fuck they just did. I like how you handled that. Actually, yeah. Now that's more intimidation, right, than it is diplomacy. Um, it's sort it of a... like shaming, almost. It, gotcha. it was yeah. intended to be exactly Shame. shaming, and Shame. Uh, hopefully, Shame. Yeah, shame. Jane. Wait, wait, wait. I have the perfect I have the perfect thing for this. Give me oh, a second. No. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> wow. 
Have watch just has a bell. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, if you guys Plea, want Plea doesn't have it because Plea check can't. Out, Anyways, uh, uh, the north room, I think that's the last one. Yep, I'm looking in it. Um, this appears to be um, a much higher ranking individual, so presumably the visor. Um, or the Did vizier. you say visor? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Words are hard, okay? I'm looking for a hat. A hat with no top. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> lavishly furnished, this chamber obviously houses a person of high station. A large desk and plush chair stand next to the south wall. Um, across from an opulent bed against the north wall and between two windows. Um, the other furnishings in this room include a large sea chest in one corner. Um, oh, the other furnishings in the room, including a large sea chest in one corner, are clearly of good quality. Wow, what a weird way to word that. Um, an unpleasant fishy smell hangs in the air, particularly near the bed. Um... I investigate the bed. Make sure you have protection. It Gloves basically on smells like an ill Martian person oh. has slept here. Okay. Disgusting. Nasty. Um, I look over at the chest because uh, I'm kind of curious what about its contents, if it's open. Because you said it was a sea chest. That probably sits, yes. stands out on um, land. So actually, there's another thing that wasn't mentioned in there for some reason. Um, a large leather chest has been pulled from beneath the bed and upended, um, and beside it li lies an open coffer that was obviously taken from the chest. A number of empty and, and broken glass bottles lie near the coffer, um, some still with a bit of liquid remaining um, in their bottoms or spilled upon the floor. Oh, uh, can I perception check to test and see what they are? Uh, yes. Actually, you can. Nope, I can't. I will attempt mm. to as well. You... A lot of ones here tonight. He uh... attempts to use echolocation, but then realizes he can't make noise. No, perception actually will <laughs> let you identify the powers of a potion through taste. It's 15 plus the potion's caster level. Um, well, I'm that one, pretty so sure a 30 is going to do it. Yeah. Um, you could also use Knowledge Arcana or Spellcraft um, for such Ooh, things. Ooh, Arc... Oh. Um, but this appears to be several vials of potions of cure light wounds that someone Ooh. hastily drank and then dropped on the floor. Hmm. Huh. These were very clearly potions of cure light wounds, but uh, I wonder what occasioned them to be drunk and so hastily uh, shattered. Uh, these signs to Elix that uh, perhaps uh, Appeasing the Temple Guardian uh, is not clean or easy work. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Uh, and then proceeds over to the chest where he was going to investigate. Anyway. Yep. Uh, there's a wooden sea chest in the corner. Um, when you try to open it, it um, clicks rather loudly because it is locked. Uh, Plea uh, beckons over Leopold with many hand gestures. How are you? Everything's weird. Uh, the door is not open to this, but like you can walk through it. Oh, okay, okay. And right there. There you go. Yeah, I was about to say, like, where the fuck? <sighs> What's up? The sea chest in the corner. Do you mind opening it? Blow it up with your gun. I don't blow it up. I aim very carefully. <laughs> and then I shoot with an explosion. Oh, God! Not None of us understand <laughs> what you do when like, bullets fly. Like, it's magic to us. Mm -hmm. Because magic is normal and guns are not. In the tube. Yeah, that's so crazy. But you gotta imagine, we don't see a projectile flying. You pull the trigger and explosions happen. Mm -hmm. You see and me putting things die. We see you I don't understand. In there. I mean, but, but we see people workings. put stuff into their hands to cast spells, too. It's yeah, not... like it, it is literal magic to us because like we don't understand alchemy and that's what it is. It's basically alchemy. Have I ever shown you the video about like the, the guy who did the lore about the like origins of guns in Pathfinder? I uh, I saw it, the guy lore finder or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, it was cool. It basically rose out of a war between two wizards. Right. 
So it's magic definitely... became reviled in that land and it acted really, really weirdly. So nobody, it was like extremely dangerous to use magic. So they invented guns. Pretty much. Yeah, now the 1D4 chan post about firearms has this to say about gunner. 1000s and 1200s. The Chinese realize they can make barbarians shit their pants by ho shooting hollowed out arrows packed with powder and bamboo tubes uh, <laughs> with pebbles at them. Bamboo gradually gives way to iron. Pretty much. So yeah, they they it, I, at first you guys probably were like, what the fuck was that? But now it's just no different than anything else you see. This uh, crazy shit. I don't know. I think they get to decide that for themselves. But anyway, we, we, we decide it's magic because magic is normal. Um, you <laughs> explain to me, color color me a picture with words. How is it that you so precisely and elegantly blow this lock open? Uh, honestly, I'd probably think it was random chance because I probably walked in, saw the chest, the lock on the chest. He pointed at it. I just lazily brought out Gracie, pointed at it, just took a shot and just obliterated it. It's like, oh, <laughs> oh all right, better than I thought. All right. Um, so you shoot the lock, and the top of the chest blows open, and smoke is just coming out of the lock yeah. um, at this Alex point. coughs on the rank, nasty smell of black powder uh, filling the oh. room. Um, oh, important question. In important question. Does the smell of black powder overwhelm the fishy smell coming from mm -hmm. the bed? No, they mix together, because it's not Febreze. <laughs> Duh. Making a new horrifying amalgamation yeah. of smell. Uh, that's, um, so that's inside, horrible. you find oh, two sulfur. large blue glass bottles, um, and then there are two small uh, brass vials, as well as a... Um, how do I describe this? Um, brass I think vials? I will say that it is a small stone circle um, that has a fish engraved upon it. I detect magic on these items. Um, just making sure I wrote it down They're right. All two magic. large blue glass bottles. Ooh. Yes. Two brass vials. Yep. And a small stone circle with fish engraving. Yes. Cool. Um, I present them in my hands in front of Xenesis. Yes. But no, wait, they... there's more. Oh, oh. Billy Mays here. Um, in addition, the chest contains... Billy Mays here! If I order now, do I get more? <laughs> if you order oh now, you can get a somewhere. If you order now, you can also have three disturbing statuettes depicting bizarre tentacled beasts, a vaguely humanoid thing with an um, ichthyic and... Oh my god. Batrachian features? Uh, well, that's oh. disgusting, but I'm just going to put three disturbing statuettes. And a crouching statuettes. humanoid figure with an octopoid head and dragon wings. Oh, suck oh, my man. dick. Why, why are they all hot and bothered? Um, the no, statuettes are all crafted oh. from a strange reddish gold. Huh. They're... Ooh. Laying the Cthulhu on heavy. They're, uh... Clee, you did say you wanted Swinging for the those. fence. Uh, He's worth anything? It's made out uh, the gold. statuettes and... are each worth 500 gold pieces. Woo! Dang, okay. Nice. Do I know what kind of gold this is? Or is this just uh, a knowledge local? Uh, yeah. Rose gold. Please, hands are full in front of Xenesis as he waits for her to yes. identify the items. Is it use magic device? Is that what I roll? Or is it spellcraft? Um, spellcraft. Leopold, you've heard it mentioned when you were hanging out yeah. at the fish market that this is probably fish gold. Ooh. Huh. Super. Um, it is rumored that it is collected from the the deeps of the lake. Um by the neighbors and given to people in town. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Yeah. so these neighbors totally, just go to the bottom totally. of the lake, like, no problem. I'm sure they're perfectly normal. Yep. yep. They're just deep I, ones. Shut up, it's I'm fine. I'm growing more and more concerned about these neighbors. Plea doesn't know enough about Cthulhu to be concerned, but Ryan is like, you, what the fuck, were... why are the deep ones here? Uh... Uh, uh, Leopold's gonna turn around and looks and go, you weren't concerned about the decapitated body, but the shit, but the, the statues? Concerns concerned. are mounting, is what I mean to say. Ah. Um, does, is but their is... role is still yet to be determined. Well, uh, in uh, fairness, you don't know that the statuettes were found at the bottom of the lake in their current form, or if fish gold was brought up and then they made them this way. Yeah. I just want to point that out. 
Uh, if uh, anyone's got craft out the wazoo, they could probably determine that. But I do my, have spellcraft uh, twenty six. That, um, that so one, with, wrong kind of oh, craft alchemy. Alchemy. Uh, actually, that probably won't give you anything. No, there there is craft jewelry and craft statue and like yeah. craft painting. Um, I think that that's maybe analogous enough. Um, especially with a nat twenty, um, you are pretty sure that this was made by um human like smithing tools whether or not humans made them is probably up for debate um, the techniques used to make them were yeah they were uh, traditional smithing techniques uh i would like to see if there is a a, a hidden... before we go any further can we identify the items before yes it gets lost? um <laughs> there are two Sorry to interrupt. Uh, the two blue <laughs> bottles are elixirs of swimming yeah. Which are quite powerful. Um, there are also two potions of water breathing in the brass vials. Um, and then there is something called a fish boat feather token, uh, which you maybe haven't ran into feather tokens before in this game. Uh, but you might remember from Bane of I Magic. I vaguely remember. Uh, the tree feather uh, token would allow you to yeah. just like create a tree in a place. So the fish boat feather token allows you to create a boat. Um, it functions as swan boat feather token, except that it is a big fish boat instead of a swan. Okay. Cool. I'm looking up these right now while Alex describes what she was doing with that perception roll. Yep. I'm looking to see if there's a hidden door uh, like there was uh, on the far side of the building that would lead into this other chamber. And I guess since this is probably you considered You indeed urban, find another secret door that looks much the same as the other one. I will hit the trigger, um, assuming I find it, yep. and uh, uh, let it swing open and just sort of nod at the group. And then you get to see all the bodies. Yep. Oh, no. The same bodies we already saw. Yeah, I died so much death. I I can close it if it will make you feel better, Zenesis. Um, Thank you. Question for you about the potion of water breathe. Is that like an actual potion? Because like when I look it up, I get the spell, but not the actual potion. And the spell affects multiple people. So the potion will only be one person. Uh, I thought there isn't that like communal. I didn't know it. I thought yeah, that's the thing about water breathing. It's a communal spell. It's like mm -hmm. two hours but per level divided. Yeah, so it's it's really weird. One person can have uh, 14 hours of water breathing. Yeah. Seems like a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Maybe they're hinting at some foreshadowing here. 14 I knew I always should have become a mermaid. Time. <laughs> ass time. I knew I should have became a mermaid? Yeah, I should have just gotten all my spells. You had that option? Made one. Oh, okay. Oh. I was confused by, like, when in your backstory you were like, and a sea goddess approached me and gave me the <laughs> option to become a mermaid, and I declined uh -huh. because I wanted to be an elf. That didn't happen to you guys? Fuck it, I'm one of those blue people. Avatar. <laughs> anyway. What are we doing um, next? Yes. Uh, I, 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 exiting I, that room. I, I leave the room and begin hauling bodies into the like the secret room. Hmm. Why is that? Yeah, I'll help consecrate? him. Yep, yeah, I will okay. as well. Um, it probably takes you guys, uh, I don't know, maybe half an hour to drag all the bodies into the room. And the them, scion. Get them all organized. The scion, I don't know if... <laughs> uh, well, roll strength. It's only the size yes. of a horse. Does Between anyone have several of us? We could do it. I, yeah, if you animal? drag it, you probably can. Flea and I are the are have the strength of minotaurs. Fair enough. Yeah, like, I uh, I'm not carrying. <laughs> yeah. Talk about I do not my best to like player. coordinate them. This hollow boned gunsmith. I don't think he does. I I, I, pull, I lift the tail. <laughs> I imagine it looks like lifts the tail daintily, just like yeah. Ew, I don't want to touch it. Yeah, it's made of fishy this, stuff. A lot. A lot stickier huh. and moister than I care. We could always <laughs> chop them into individual pieces and then 
I think we've kind of left the tentacle. Oh God, I can't do this. Anyways, we we move it all into the secret room to deal with later, uh, and then uh, escort the the fine folk. Yeah. Uh, past uh, all the bodies, uh, or actually, let's escort them through this room. Yeah, Ilix is gonna close uh, to the these secret rooms, and once everybody's out, she's gonna flip the trigger on the back of the statue that closes the altar, sealing the couple inside to their doom. No, no, no. We we leave, leave, leave no, them outside. No, I hope like their tokens, their tokens are still there. So it's just like, no. Nah. Havlock just like opens the door and goes, "Keep studying." <laughs> <laughs> what should I tell you? Um, there will be a quiz. So they they will walk out of the room then and f- kind of um, follow you out of the temple. Um, yeah. And once you guys get outside the temple. I escort them this way so they don't have to walk past all the dead bodies. Yeah, they definitely go that way. That's fine. Um, So you guys get back to Ilmarsh then. We never left. Right, (laughs) but I mean, the the map. Yeah. Um, Uh, And and then I say to my friends that perhaps we should rest for the evening. Um, Ask uh, Mm -hmm. before heading up to the house and tell Greedle of what's happened in his town. We should and explain all the missing bodies. We should probably mm-hmm. get an idea of where the house Didn't is. Didn't he basically tell us not to visit him again last time? Yeah, he not told without us information. We... Yeah. Yeah, we I think we've got information now. Yeah. He just doesn't want you poking your head in all the time because he doesn't yeah. want to draw suspicion. Yeah. Draw too much attention. Um And you had intentionally waited until late at night, so it is yeah. Probably sleepy time for you all. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. So we return to the inn and go rest. Okay. Whoa, whoops. I have too much health. Oh, that's cool. It gives me a little notification when you accidentally give yourself too much health. Hmm. It did not used to do that. Oh yeah, the, the overheal thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, your evening passes uneventfully, so say the dice. Um, so, what do you do? Uh, in the morning, we. Uh, I, I recommend that we tell Greedle about his missing. His name's not Greedle. It's something else. Um, it's Greedle. It's that's definitely it Greedle. It's Greedle. It is Greedle. I thought we just called him that because he looked like nope. a Greedle. No, that's, nope. his name. No, that's his actual name. And he looks like a Greedle. He also happens to look exactly like that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Looks- yeah. We. I guess we should. Uh, please sign to the party that we should probably tell Greedle that we found the missing people. Mayor okay. Early Greedle. I can got that name. Oh, How could you not look like that with that name? <laughs> um, I True. will ask around while y'all or whoever's doing that, and uh, see if I can find out where the house of, of Undiome, un, un, Undiome, um, Undiome, I believe Undiome is. Um, and I guess I'll roll diplomacy to canvas for okay information. Um, you might also want to ask about uh the stranger. The stranger, mm-hmm. the 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 guy who looked like a merchant that we found in the room full of corpses. Oh, that guy. Oh, so, mm-hmm. okay. I, think yeah, I, fi- I figured we'd got a little off the rails, so you might have forgotten. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, with 19, um, yeah, I think you're able to, let me see, diplomacy. Shouldn't be very high for easy, easy aid. Um, so unfriendly creatures won't help you, but indifferent ones would. Um, so I think you're able to find some who are relatively indifferent to your presence at this point because you haven't, you know, murdered everybody and stole their shit. Except as far for the as they know. So they know. Yeah. Um, so. I'm, I'm, I'm like wearing all of the golden pendants <laughs> around my neck. I'm you one of you now. Like See? My... Look at all these holy symbols that I have. I too am a townsfolk, townsfolk. They're still covered in blood. So, hello, hello, fellow townsmen. townsfolk. 
<laughs> you're wearing the uh, the vicar's face over your own. Look at me. He's like pretending to eat now. fish. Like, mmm, this sure is good fish. So, um, you are able to find out that the house of Undiomede is roughly two miles outside of Ilmarsh um, at the end of an overgrown and rutted carriage path. Gotcha. I believe it is north of the town, but don't quote me on that, because I'm okay. having trouble finding it at this exact moment. Um, but as far as the stranger goes... Do, 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 do. Because of course this is several pages away. So are you you're just describing uh, his appearance? I take it. How are you conveying oh. who it is that you're asking about? Uh I guess I would describe how he was dressed to a, a stranger, a merchant or okay. someone who'd been Yeah, found. so um you'll have at least one person then that will um not like positively identify, but definitely strongly think um, that this is Gaster Lucas, which is a name that you have heard previously. Mm. Um, it was a trader from Caliphas that came through here slightly before you, and it was the one that everybody was talking about being the only stranger they've seen in a while. Right. What was his name again? Gaster yeah. Lucas. Thanks. Did he mention what he was here for? I think he did. Um, and certainly the mayor gave you a little Wait, info. He's the guy that had the Whispering Way message, right? Yep. It, it appeared to have been sent to him by the stable master, yes. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, the mayor had told you that he thought Gaster Lucas was an importer out of Caliphas, uh, that he'd been staying in town the last few months to try to set up some business deals. Sure. Um, he didn't think he'd had much success because of the present troubles in town. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I don't think he gave you much more than that, but you could ask him again, I suppose. I catch up with with the rest of the group. Okay. So you go in to see Mr. Early Greedle. Um, <laughs> walking into the town hall all proudly um, with your mm -hmm. newfound information. Um, so he... He will uh, welcome you. He'll wave you into his office after he sees you, and he'll motion to close the door. Hmm. Okay. Uh, walk in and and shoo everybody in and uh, and shut the door behind us. So I um. I take it your uh, investigation has uh, concluded. I wouldn't say it's concluded, but we've certainly oh. uh, turned up some some uh, some results. Let's say. Please um, signs to have like disturbing results. Disturbing results. Thank you, Lee. Oh, oh dear. It appears that uh, a cult of Dagon has has overtaken, or had overtaken this uh, this uh, temple of Gazre in your town. Uh, it's our belief that they have been using this place to uh, to increase their numbers through this. Uh, 
gifting, fostering children to the neighbors, so to, think, so to speak. Um, we also know for certain that this uh, Gaster Lucas was, and Havok will hesitate there and look at early Greedle and just say, not precisely as he appeared. Uh, Let's leave it. Okay. I, I'm not sure I exactly catch your meaning, but um, I, I guess if it if it's not relevant, then we can move on. What exactly did you find in the temple Please that makes sense. you think that there is more to be discovered? Like, what, what were they up to? Where are the people who have been disappearing from my town? Um, Please just, like, crosses you... his throat with a finger yeah, and makes a uh... sad face. We found several bodies of what looked like townsfolk, along with the body of Lucas fellow. It appears they were decapitated in some sort of possibly ritual. Uh, their bodies seem to be drained of blood. They're still inside the temple. May they rest in peace. I think the the vicar and the various churchgoers of the temple, or the church folk of the temple, were. Obviously, as Havelock has pointed out, Dagon cultists and killed them for some unknown reason. Well, I mean, I know that you don't really, uh, as religious folk yourself, I imagine that you don't don't smile too too much on the worshippers of Dagon and that their church. But I gotta tell you, um, they they I've known about that for quite some time, and and they've never done. They've never done anything to harm anybody in this town. Uh, I I believe they have. <laughs> in I, fact, man, I, it just I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Like why? Why now? Why start kidnapping people now? And Perhaps. like, did you say decapitating them like that? Like why? We never Please. Please. keep them from the speaking. Please, signs. Uh, to have like uh about what the lady and the man had said about what they overheard. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I knew that too, that we hadn't heard from the neighbors in a while, and it's been making me a little nervous as well, because, well, it's... Perhaps your cult... Uh, please, sounds like, perhaps your cult uh, resorted to more desperate measures to grab the attention of the neighbors? Or perhaps uh, took on some other affiliations. Ah oh, man, this is really this is really boiling over, isn't it? And you I can believe... tell that he's like never, I'm he's gonna... not really a religious guy, and so this to him this is all kind of over his head. Um, yeah, I'm um, I'm gonna pull out the uh, the scrap of paper. They go, we found this note. They might be meeting at the Undiamede House. Well, it's cult, and it sure sounds like that's where you need to head next, then, doesn't it? Yep, I figured you'd say that. Oh yeah, I mean, you didn't find the the um. You didn't you didn't find the vizier there, did you? No, we did not. Uh, the vicar so, only, and some of his servants. So I imagine, uh, well, I guess you told him that they took his daughter, or took the daughter up there. Uh huh. So. Yeah. yeah, I would imagine he's got the answers. He's he's got to know what's going on here. I intend to question him quite thoroughly. Mm. Well, uh, better you than me, I suppose. Indeed. Uh, we'll be heading out, uh, well, presently. Uh, you under This place, I'm, I'm given to understand, is uh, a couple miles outside of town. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't have any trouble finding it if you just uh, follow the road there. Uh, well... The road ain't the best, but you shouldn't have too much trouble getting getting up there as long as you don't have like a a wagon or nothing. Sure. In that case, uh, Mayor Erdly Greedel, I expect we shall be uh, seeing each other once again shortly with uh, with a full explanation. Or if uh, the gods are not with us, uh, we shan't be seeing each other again at all. Or at least you'd better hope not. Well, that's a bit grim, I think. Uh, you get you come this far, probably fine, right? He uh, <laughs> he looks like he's not used to the positive pep talk 
<laughs> stuff. Flashes, flashes of like wrestling with uh, with a giant uh, octopus man go flashing <laughs> through Half Block's eyes, and he goes, "Yeah, sure. Everything's uh, looking up." Right. Uh, good then. Should should be a piece of cake. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Please signs to Elix, like sort of to the side. Uh, I I dread to think of what passes for cake in this town. Fish cake. I don't, I don't even know oh, if it like fish cake is great. The cake is moist, but you know, uh, <laughs> come think of it, there's a uh, one one of the landmarks might help you find the house. Uh, there's a number of uh, standing stone, like I guess you'd call them like hinges, uh, scattered around up there. I don't think you'll have too much trouble finding it. It's it's kind of got a lot of those around it. Uh, Undyar Meat had a little bit of a obsession with uh, the old stone monuments. Lovely. Does not um, surprise me somehow. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Plea bows to thank uh, the mayor and leaves. <laughs> mm-hmm. As I do. follows. Okay. So I take it you are making your way to there, like, right now, then? I yep. see no reason not to. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let me go to the map real quick. Or wait, do I have a... I think I actually have a map for the, like, environment around um, Ilmarsh. I might not have this map uploaded, so give me just a second. I could swear there is a environs map for... Avalon Bay. There we go. I believe that it is north along the river. Let me double check that F is the location that I think it is. Do we go to F to pay respects? I guess so. Uh, yes, so it is up north along the river um, in the Sodden Timbers. Um, and it's only two miles, so just give me a single survival check, um, Ilex, and we will go from be. there. Tom, Tom, uh, I can't believe you can roll that low and still get... <laughs> Ranger. It's pretty mm-hmm. good. All right, yeah, you have no trouble Ranger danger. finding your way to the um, Undiomed house. Let me make sure that the map is ready. I think, I think it's when pre- Go ahead. my dwarf gets to this level in Smitty's game, it'll have, like, plus 40 spellcraft or something. Like... Oh, God. <laughs> That's a lot of crafting. <laughs> I mean, you gotta guarantee that you don't get a fucking curse. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Curse cool. items are fun. Unless you're wearing them. You might be wearing one in that game. <laughs> you sure you want to say they're fun? <laughs> They'd be very fun for me. Yeah, they're fun for me. Although, judging from last session, I'm not sure I'm going to have to increase the difficulty for you guys very much. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, the dice don't like us. That was fucking... That was brutal. Okay. Yeah. I can't I'm going to put your tokens here, and then I'll move you over. Mm-hmm. 
I see myself. I'm not, hold on, I'm not sure. Let's do global elimination. I think that'll fix it. Yeah. Bam. Ooh. Oh shit, I even spelled the name right. I totally butchered it. Nice. That it kind of looked what the the house name? Yeah, Undiamed House. I I remember you guys were talking about like you almost you kept saying like Iomade, but I can see why. Anomanied. It's like, like Undiamade. Has too that's many vowels. Mouthful. It has yeah. Iomade in it. <laughs> Just saying. Sort yeah. of. So Iomade like, has an A at the end or uh, before the E, but yeah. Yeah. Iomid. <laughs> and Iomadeus. And Iomadeus. And Iomadeus. And Iomadeus. It's it's just annoying because it's very similar spelling, but the pronunciation is completely different. Yeah. Um. Okay. This is a carriage path that has fallen to disuse. Um. Now a little more than a muddy, overgrown trail, um, barely noticeable near town. The path becomes clearer the closer to the manor you become. Um, but it's soft mud preserves tracks as well. Um, you already rolled survival. Um, about a mile from the house, you find several sets of shod humanoid tracks heading towards it, including one set of tracks that is much larger than the others. Um, the tracks are obviously fresh, made within the last 24 hours or so, but they overlap so much that the number of creatures present is difficult to determine. Um, at least three, possibly more. Um, would uh, having a 35 give me a better idea of how many? Uh, because no. that 27 doesn't include my tracking. No, because okay. it's, it's there's too much overlapping footprints for you to, to determine that. Um, but you can um, detect the faint tracks of a single horse heading towards the house. Probably the um. vizier. Can we identify or a pack bigger tracks? Like yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Um, yeah. If you would like to, you can try to identify um, what might like make larger tracks, but that would be a knowledge local in this case. I don't believe that is within my knowledge. Clean <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Uh, Havelock, Havelock, Havelock is pretty really sure that they're guy. just wearing really big shoes for some reason. There's a, a clown. Uh, uh, a, a, a 19 will do it. Uh, you're pretty sure they belong to a marsh giant. Mm. Oh. Okay. They have a giant. Okay. Then. Uh, what can I know about marsh giants? I believe they're be... nature or arcana? Are they magical creatures? Is this thing going to be like a giant, like a giant fish? What if it's just Is a giant right? marsh? It... No, I don't think so. It's just a giant living pile of like mossy weeds. Yeah. That's a shambling mound. That's very different. Um, they are actually large humanoids. Um, so they're not like special creatures or monsters or anything. Um. Yeah. So that's why their knowledge local here. Ah. Uh, oh yeah. All right. You'd think they'd be nature for monstrous humans. Um, I think you could probably swing nature. Does a twenty swing it? Uh. No. Hold on. Well, monster weaknesses ability is temple CR. Yeah, you got it. You can ask me uh, one question. Uh, I would like to know special attacks. <laughs> Offense. Um, I don't know what a gaff is, but they carry one of those around. Uh, a, it's like a hook of some kind, like a gaff hook. Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so like an anchor almost. A stick with a hook at the end for fishing. Yeah. Well, it's a marsh giant, so it's probably an anchor strapped to a stick. Um, yeah. Uh, they also have rock throwing. Uh, a marsh giant. They're known to carry around large hooks, and hurl boulders at uh, their quarry. 
Uh, uh, please special. signs to Havelock. I'm gonna leave the giant for you because I can't wrestle giants. <laughs> uh, Havelock turns to Leopold and says, "I'm gonna leave the giant to you because uh, I don't want to get near them." Mm. You realize I've got a gun, right? Yeah, yes. some magic bow. <laughs> Magical okay, side um, there is more road up here, and what looks like a front porch, but let me give you uh, a little more detail about the tracks. Since well, we can have... I ask about the marsh giant, because I rolled Knowledge Nature with 26? Sure. Uh, what about its, uh, the... you said, you asked for attack, I asked for... about defenses. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Sure, um, defensive abilities, they can catch rocks. Great. They have rock so catching. No, no special. Uh, All right. So no halflings. They seem to be very boring. <laughs> Do they have any magic? The uh, magic is uh, that. Already, the magic is how many fucking hit points they probably have. You already asked your question. Well, I rolled um, twenty six. I assumed I got. That's true. You have another one. But, yeah, they but, have some spell like abilities. Okay. Um, no. Nope. They have, well, let's see. I'll give you one of them. Give me a number between one and three. One and what? One and three. Three. Uh, fog cloud. Uh, Ooh. He's, uh, yeah. Marsh giants, they, they're also very well, very good at catching rocks, as my, my uh, old uncle Fitzpatrick uh, knew quite well. Uh, the, uh, you don't want to get caught in a fog cloud with these creatures. Uh, the rock throwing is actually more impressive than the rock catching because they're allowed to throw rocks that are two size categories larger than them. Yes, you say that Jesus. until you try to kill one of the, with a catapult like Uncle Fitzpatrick. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, please uh, immediately questions all of Havelock's lineage. Caught that <laughs> goblin right out of the air. Um, so the humanoid tracks all appear to enter the house at the main entrance, uh, which is the stairwell that's farther away. Um, the horse tracks go um, a little farther around to the left. None of them go to the stairwell on your right. Uh, what is this water like going down to the, the lake there? Is it like leaking from the house? Weird. I will perceive it. Nice. I perceive it good. Does the water appear to be pouring out, or is it even um, water? The water does appear to be seeping very slowly from the foundation of the building. Um. Mm. And with that perception check, as you're kind of tracing the flow, um, you actually catch at the corner of your eye uh, some movement in the water in the pond. And when you turn your head to look at it, it's gone, but there's like ripples on the surface um, where it was. Okay, do they, are they like big ripples or kind of um, like, like... It's hard like a, like to a... tell at this point because okay. it took you long enough to look over there that... The ripples have already moved out quite a ways, so it would be uh, difficult to determine a size. Um, uh, so I look over there and I I see something and I I stop and like hold my hand up, um, and say, "There's something in the water." Uh, please signs that if there's something in the water, then perhaps we should investigate the house Zenesis, first. Zenesis, Zenesis, mm -hmm. come over here. Oh. We've already had a recent encounter with water. Water. Uh, away from the water, Zenesis. Away from the water. <laughs> there you go. Uh, please signs that if there is something in the water, like perhaps another octopus, we should investigate the um, house first. So Zenesis, that it since you did mm -hmm. walk close to the water, why don't you give me a perception? Okay. Oh, man, he's rolling. Going to have the musket. Come on. All right. Um, yeah, you don't you don't see um, you do see the ripples when when Ilix points them out, but you don't see anything else. Uh, Ilix Looks like a good day to go kayaking. Uh, it seems that this water is seeping up from under the house. Perhaps there's a a spring, uh, some sort of 
intersection with a uh, underground river. Before we enter, perhaps we should look for magic. Please, Heinz. Good idea. I detect magic on the house and the lake. Uh, that's going to take you a while. It's only a 60-foot cone. Uh, on what I can see of, of the... Well, uh, fair enough. Uh, I cast but... it on the entrance to the house. Sure, that works and, for me. And the bit of the lake that I can... All right, yeah. Uh, you don't detect any magic on the lake. Let's see if there's any in the side entrance. I don't think there is. Uh, da, da, da. Nope, no magic. Right. Um. Yeah, I uh, I I look at Ilix and I say, uh, tracks led here. So they they went further along. Most of them went into the house. Uh, you said the horse tracks took off uh, in a move further on? Yeah, they went off to the left a bit. The horse tracks continue in this direction, and she'll indicate. Uh, so just so everyone's clear, I think regular tracks go this way, horse tracks go this way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think perhaps we ought to follow the, the tracks out here first. Getting a Plea walks up to the stairs in front of the main entrance. Or fuck that, that, on the other hand, perhaps. But this is where the tracks went. I thought they went this way. That's, that's the horse well, tracks. That's the horse tracks. Horse tracks yes. go this way. Oh, wait, wait there are different the tracks? tracks? There, horse tracks the went left. The party went Normal this way. tracks went in. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, where do it. the uh, where do the giant tracks go? Do they go into the house? They are into the house as well. They seem like they're all together. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, upon approaching, that? please seize this door. Yes. Uh, does that look like an, a side entrance to the house? Uh, it does. Let me see. I think that might be where the horse tracks go. Do 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 do. Uh, the horse tracks go into the carriage house. Yes. So you see the horse tracks um, going around to the side of the same door that you are looking at. Um, and it appears to be some sort of carriage house or what we might uh, so this call is, a, a garage. Are they connected? Like. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Because like, there's, a, there's a black It's all one building. Like, right here. Yeah. Cool. What does this um, house look like? Yeah. As, uh, as we stand in front of it. I don't know that I have a 3D uh, picture of it, but I might have a description Describe. for you. Paint us a word picture. Paint us a word picture. A beautiful word picture. Paint us an actual picture. Yes, I will, uh, I'll be back. I will be back in two weeks after you have painted us a real picture. Um, so there is a number of... Um, like stone circles off in the distance um, that look a bit like Stonehenge um, from our world. Um, as far as the main entrance is concerned, um, there is a small colonnade that supports a short covered stair leading to the front doors of the manse. Um, cracked and lichen-covered statues of merfolk bearing tridents stand upon stone pediments uh, flanking the entrance. Um, but it, it looks like the house has fallen into disrepair um, over the last few years. Um, or For <sighs> us, I would like to go to one mansion that isn't falling apart. I'm pretty sure they build them this way. Another fucking haunted fucking mansion. Uh, Pleat looks at Havelock and Ilix, because, like, he grew up in Ustalav, and, like... All of the mansions are haunted and used to love. Everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this shouldn't be a surprise. This is just how they are. It's not a surprise. So, it's, it would be nice to find a, a regular mansion once. Uh, 
I pull out Gabby's great sword and kind of kind of make sure I've I've got her at the ready. Um, I'm suddenly and, uh, missing the approach the door and uh, gingerly test it to see if it opens. Suddenly missing the charms of the lodge, giant spiders and all. Wait a minute! What happened to our cleric? She, she managed to get herself stuck behind some lighting walls. That's she been oh. I was like, has she been pulled into the water? We just hear, hey, <laughs> splash. <laughs> um, the doors creak open without much effort. Um, inside the doors is a small foyer with doors leading into a central hall as well as into either wing of the house. A worn and tattered rug still carpets this hall, um, though at this point it is thoroughly covered in mud where those who have entered in the house wipe their feet before proceeding. Remind me, uh, who has dark vision? Or is it is it lit inside? We have low light vision. Mm-hmm. Um, it is lit enough at the moment. We will deal with low light if it arises. Gotcha. But most of these rooms are exposed to the outside through windows or, you know, gaps in the wall and stuff. Um... I kind of push the door open a, a little bit, and uh, and I think I'll I'll kind of like gesture for the whole group to go by, giving them like a, a hearty slap on the back as they as uh, each one of them passes in. I'm going to see if I can hear anything. And I cast invisibility on Ilix as she as I do it to her. Gotcha. Got you. Got it. Got it. Got you again. All right, I'm. Uh, I want to probably the middle door because it's the biggest. Is that a Makes is that a for me. real? I put my ear up to this door and okay. listen. I imagine there's a larger room behind it. So you have nine minutes of invisibility. I'm invisible again, aren't I? Uh, Flee nods in the direction that Elix's voice came from, and then puts his ear to the door. Damn it all! Just a slight warning. I don't need a lot. What would where would the fun be in there? Uh, I don't know. Coordination. So, um, you find this room. Hold on just a second. I gotta reveal it just a little bit more, and then I have some tweaking to do. So oh, I'm see doors. Okay. This one. Um, a vast chamber occupies the space below the mansion's cracked dome. Sweeping stone stairways, their wooden railings um, long since rotted away, climb to a balcony overlooking the room below. Um, from the center of the floor rises a rough, flat stone with scorch marks on its center, um, large enough to be a table. More surprising are the columns that support the dome high above. Rather than the finished pillars one would expect in such a stately chamber, seven massive stones stand along the walls instead. Um, crudely chiseled and set on end in a rough circle, it appears that the lords of Undiom Undiomede did not just place their seat at an age-old sacred site, but built their house upon the ancient stone um, of the Druid Ring itself. Um, and also... Holy crap, this has got a lot of shit in this room. Okay. Um, there is a... Um... <laughs> There is a large uh, green woman in the middle of the room, and I need you to roll initiative. Of course. And that wasn't the first thing we noticed. <laughs> well, oh, no, because the room, the room is pretty impressive. Like, imagine walking oh, yeah. into a house and finding that it has been built on top of Stonehenge. Like, Oh, she's got nice kissable lips. Oh, those are some and DSL. Beady frogman eyes. All the better to <laughs> Half Block catches uh one one look at her and then uh, just kinda says to the air that you're not complaining now, are you? Yeah, yeah, we're it looks like... <laughs> I, I turn around and step on your foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's an attack, she pops back into existence. <laughs> that she uses her surprise round. <laughs> I crush your foot stamp for one damage. Stamp on my foot. <sighs> yes. Okay. Um. So there's actually going to be surprise round here. 
um, between, well, let me see. I'll be honest, I was trying to listen in the room and not just open the door, but this works, I guess. Oh, so I thought somebody opened the door. No! I don't know if someone did. I know I walked up and I was trying to listen at the door with my perception. My yeah, bad. I think we were all listening to doors, uh, but it's okay. Let's we'll just say the, door, the door fell off. Yeah, the, the door hinges fell off were the extremely hinges. well kept. It's the only part of this house that was well kept Whoops. and so well kept that it breezed open. Well, I apologize for mucking that up. Uh, but we're just gonna roll now. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Well, this this would have ended up happening no matter what. Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. So she rolled pretty decent perception. So yeah, I think uh, we won't do a surprise round then, since you were all listening to the door. Um, yeah, that's that's probably the fair way to do this. Ilix, you go first. Alrighty, I am going to. Uh, move in, and I'm going to creep up these uh, stairs about as far as I can go. Seems fair. Uh, probably, you know, up to right here, about to where they kind of would be not visible to the rest of the group. Yeah, the platform above. That's yeah. apparently delineated by a red dotted line because laziness. Yeah. yeah, I guess wow. I get to like the first part of that uh, balcony. Yep. Sure. Leopold. Yeah, I'm going to shoot her in the... I mean, that makes sense to me. <laughs> well, I'm just standing here, yeah. I'm just going to just gonna shoot her with the mic. Well, Pow. that was a one, but all right. Uh, um, so it's a six. Versus and... touch. Well, she's a big, beefy lady. I mean, I... So you're I'm definitely going to hit... Her. Uh, let's see if she has uh, any defensive abilities. Well, actually, does she have... She's two-legged, right? Uh, yes. Is she, okay, okay. Because uh, quadrupeds and up uh, can't trip up. Right. Also, if they're huge, I can't, but she's large. So oh, she's got different abilities. What is this? You know those abilities he told us earlier when we rolled knowledge on... She's on... got new stuff! On, on giants, he was mm -hmm. incomplete with his assessment. Yeah, well, she's I, um, a special sorry, Mars giant. Uh, she's a special lady. Okay, gosh. Special, beautiful. All all ladies are unique snowflakes. Ooh, can I say word? I I will say this: she is she's definitely like not a... like the other girl. Yeah, that is true. This she's one less in particular. of a like, snowflake and more like... of like a clump of algae. Yeah, she she <laughs> likes go. The others like going to bubble tea. She likes she's, crushing people to death with a giant. She likes she's more. Like, she's more like hail than a snowflake. Yeah, she likes. <laughs> oh, I should give you guys the and... full picture. Hold on. She have banging tits. She, uh, Did we need just say it doesn't do it just. That's that's where the green milk comes from, guys. Oh God. Oh God. Mark Hamill seemed to enjoy Disgusting. it. So, oh no, that was blue milk. Mark Hamill, you nasty. <laughs> oh god oh sweet yep yep that's, like, chunky, that's but, like uh... part of a ship's mast or something like that, that she's carrying. <laughs> yeah, or like yeah, a, sure like is. a uh like a crossroads sign uh she's got that or... is a big old that is a big old pair look, of tissues perhaps the axle of a wagon as i thought she would be so yeah she it. got tiny little hands but tiny she, little hands she, but like thick. She dummy she, thick. She got them she big old tish fitties <laughs> on top of those hands. Oh my. <laughs> the clap of those ass cheeks can be heard for <laughs> miles around. <laughs> but the clap of my ass keep alerting the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. So, um, you will hit with both of those. I only shoot the one. It's a full oh, round action. Right. So it only does He's six doing eight. the trip thing. Yep, I'm, knock I'm trying to knock her down. And I'll reload with my swift action. Uh, we do know that hills or marsh giants are evil, right? I don't know that we established alignment. If they're affiliated with people who's fucking yeah, they're evil. chopping people's heads off and yeah, all okay, that crap, cool. I don't um, care. Yeah, I assume she's not here doing her like, so Christmas show. So they just get tripped if they're hit, right? Yep, as long as it deals damage. I think we, I think we dealt... I think the way you said it was if there was DR and I don't overcome the DR and it does uh, zero, yes. it doesn't do it. But I don't know if they have DR. You'll have to let she me know. She does not, as far as I know. It's okay. about defenses. 
Yeah. So she uh, down. So you shoot her in the leg, and she fucking trips because you're. <laughs> that is so stupid. It's not as bad as you think, Chris, because she gets to go before any of the melee people. <laughs> okay. She has to. She has to get up, but that is she can't do a full round action. Yep, fool. Can I deem whether she's evil? You already Where know that. I already gave it to you. Already know that. Okay, we did. Okay, yep. cool. Well, then I'm gonna cast Holy Smite and see if I can hit her. Ooh. I don't think you've ever done that, have you? No, I'm not. Shoot ha! So explain this spell to me. Alright, so it says you draw down holy power to smite your enemies. Only evil and neutral creatures are harmed by the spell. Good creatures are unaffected. The spell deals 1d8 points of damage for two caster levels, maximum 5d8 to each evil creature in the area. 1d6 points of damage per caster level, maximum 10d6 to an evil outsider and uh, causes it to become blinded for one round. Also, a successful will save. Saving throw reduces the damage to half and negates the blinded effect. The spell deals only half damage to creatures who are neither good nor evil, and they are not blinded. Such a creature can reduce that damage by half down to one quarter of the roll with a successful Okay, working. so in the future, just a synopsis is fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I don't need the whole it's spell. Just the, just the hits. Well, How's you it said read it, so I read do? it. No, I said explain it to I me. But that's okay. Um, I, I can get hurt by that, by the way. Can? You're good. You are yeah, good. No, He's I'm, neutral. I'm neutral. I thought you were neutral good. No, I'm just neutral. Oh. Dun, dun, dun! Well, do it anyway. You're already committed. So, oh. um, give me... So what is it? Uh, she gets to choose the burst. 20-foot radius burst. Mm -hmm. True. I assume. Um, mm -hmm. And it is it is a hundred and ninety foot range for her, so she could put it anywhere in the room she wants to. Um, I believe it is going to be four d eight for you. Yes, she's on the level ten. Yeah. That is a hella good AOE spell. Mm -hmm. um, in the future, Probably I would I would consider favorite. not using it on individual creatures. Yeah. Too late. Do it. It's, roll it. you, it's too All late. Right. You already did it now. But uh, in pick the where future, you're gonna put it and yep. roll it. All right. Keep it moving. Uh, That'd be four D eight. Don't and kill me with it either. Figure out where you're gonna put it. Uh, and it's a will saving throw. Uh, she rolled a nineteen. Is that gonna save? Probably. Probably, yeah. Well, you should look it up on your wife, you see, G. Yeah, see what it says. Right if you now. if you actually put the spell into your spell list in uh, roll twenty and roll it, it actually does the DC for. It. Nice. What what did you say it was? What did you? Nineteen. 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 Yeah, she passed. So I gotta make a roll. Uh, well, since I'm neutral, I'm not good nor evil, so I take half. To be well, she's with. not hitting you with it, I don't think, right? I'm not uh, intentional. She put it in like the corner yeah. of the room, I thought. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, hit me first. With you should be fine if she puts it oh, in the Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it a, it's not it a sphere? It. It's just a, it's it's a like circle. A, it's a burst. Okay. It would be I a assume sphere. it is a sphere. Yeah, it would be a sphere. 20 foot burst. Okay, so then it probably clips me. Are you neutral? Well, you You're not good safe. evil, yeah. Mm, I'm only, I'm, I'm, I think I'm the only one that's good. Is and Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm also lawful neutral. <laughs> Dun dun dun. Well, whole party full of neutral so people. So we'll save for you then. It's kind of funny when you realize that uh, we, the Inquisitor uh... is uh, probably the the most moral one in the party. Can we like put yeah. it over there so it's not like sure? Because <laughs> so you already take half damage from it uh, by default. So if you will save, you take a quarter. So it's, you're basically gonna take no damage at all. Uh, okay. I does, it, does it uncover my invisibility? It would no. not, no. Okay, Didn't we'll save. You. Uh, I don't know if that's high enough. Probably not, actually. It's a 7. Well, it's a, four, um, it's a level 4 spell, so it's 16. So oh, yeah, you, you save. It, if you look in your YPCG, it should she, she tell just, you. Yeah, she just did. Um, 
So yeah, you'll, I'm on it right now. You'll take three okay. points of damage then, uh, Elix. Okay. Wait, the sp- the save is sixteen. Yes, DC sixteen. Okay, so he he beat it then. Yep. Yeah. So three points of damage. Yeah. 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 And you're not blinded, so there you go too. I don't think neutral creatures just kind of get blinded from it. It's oh, only the evil yes. ones. Yep. Right. Yep. Thorp. Thorp. Yep. Yep. Thorp. She's got a great name. Does she introduce herself as Yip Thorp? <laughs> no, she probably just hits she me says, in the face. She says, me Yib, me smash. And she stands up, because um, she's mad at Leopold. Uh, she is... Yeah. Hmm, decisions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's happening. Um so she um <laughs> she uh, uh makes a, a lewd gesture at you by which I mean she flashes you. Um oh, you, no. need to, you need to make a will save. Gross. Ah! No. This painful scream. Unnatural lust. That <laughs> mint chocolate starfish. I assume I have failed that. Uh, yeah, almost certainly. Yeah, you did. So, um, what so you you gain confusion. Oh, cool! <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm just gone. That shit lasts. Um, it doesn't actually. So it's a spell-like ability, and it doesn't say a number of rounds. So I believe well, you are. You- Oh, it just actually says one round per level on Confusion. I would imagine it would go off her CR, or if she has class levels, it'd be... Yeah, maybe. Let me see. Because I think it's... Man, it's weird. Well... Um, let me see. What's her, what's her CR? CR? That's effective level. Yeah, so it would be nine rounds unless somebody uh, cleanses it off you, which is very possible for your party. Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't we, be too worried do. about it. Um, well, that's but yeah, I I Everybody... just enjoyed the idea of her making lewd uh, yeah. sexual gestures at you as like aggressively as she can, and it just like <laughs> scarring you mentally. I don't need to. Do I take a sanity point for that? I don't need. No, to you don't. You don't. You're yeah. fine. Uh, Havelock uh, pulls out G- Gabby's greatsword and rushes past. Uh, Leopold and says, "Me Havelock, me Slash." Oh she wait, like, hold she's, on, she's like... hold on. Confusion is a burst. Oh dear. Uh oh. She's just like you, husband. Now. So everybody who can see her needs to make this save. Well, everybody who's yeah. within fifteen feet. Actually. Uh, there's only one woman for me, and it's Phrasma. So actually, <laughs> I think, it was I think actually Lee just and Zenesis are fine. Um, but Havelock and Ilix both need to roll this as well. Ha- Havelock, was, Havelock was 20 feet away. away. Oh, was he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I think it <laughs> was matter. just me. It won't matter anyway. Okay, so Havelock is fine. Um, Ilix, I think, is also fine. Yep, so you guys are fine, but although a little grossed out. Uh, Havelock, go ahead. Oh, uh, you, you did, actually. Uh, I got him, like, wabam in the face. Just the first attack, right? Uh, I think I would also. Well, I didn't. I didn't say it, so I didn't do it. Just the first attack, yeah. Thirty-four. Okay. For 30 uh, damage. thirty-four will definitely hit, um, and thirty damage is. Uh, yeah, it's nothing to sneeze at. Not bad. Fucking Doom playlist, the best Plea. combat playlist. <laughs> Please go ahead. I love BFG Division myself. That's probably. Um. In. Intentionally jumping is like falling down. That's a move action, right? Or that's uh, part of, that would... is part of a move. Yeah. I basically want to climb the stairs so I'm like out of her reach and then drop behind her. Sure. Uh, cool. Give me a reflex save as you run up the stairs. Uh, oh, yeah, because there's an invisible woman on the stairs. Yes, there sure is. Uh, help is, he gonna, is he gonna from the top rope? I, I, oh, I, 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 I so as you're running up the dodge. stairs, Ilix gives you a little shout. 
um, or some sort of noise to indicate where she is so that you don't barrel into yeah. her on your yep. way up yeah. the stairs. <laughs> um, how far is the drop from the balcony? Like, is it? Um, you know, I would assume it's probably 10 to, f well, let's just, let's say 10 feet. I think that makes sense to me. Okay. Then as long as I don't get an at one, then I'm fine. Which I'm fine. <laughs> 39. <laughs> I land behind her, and I, I uh, give her a a quick punch with a stunning fist. Okay. Um. Let's roll it. Just that first one. I don't know if that's gonna Yikes. be enough. Yikes. Uh, you are flanking. So it's a twenty-three. No, oh, twenty-four. Sorry. Twenty-four. Unfortunately, it's still going to miss. Yeah, I'm I'm here to give Havlock the flanking bonus, so Yeah, yeah. that's totally <laughs> totally a good idea. Elix, it's now your turn. She uh, is I just wanna say I just wanna say that with that awesome reflex save, you guys see Plea literally running on the wall. And then, <laughs> that's like, fucking side flipping <laughs> down behind her. <laughs> uh you guys know you're Naruto running uh, right. I'm invisible and I think you guys got it. Um all right, can I see anything interesting up from where I am? Um, uh, of this upper balcony area. Uh, the upper balcony isn't particularly interesting. Uh, there are a couple doors up here, um, across the way. Um, uh, but probably the. Let's see. Um. Give me knowledge religion. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, well, uh, wait, I'll cross-eyed there for a second. There we go. Okay, that's sadly not going to cut it, um, but you do, um, you can appreciate the uh, ornate design of the room. Um, and... Um, I feel like it would have been much prettier without a house on top of it. <laughs> Maybe, uh, but there's a number of, um, I guess if you're since you're taking the round to kind of look around and study things, um, I will say that you notice a number of weathered, um, like really really old weathered symbols carved into the large rocks, uh, which you then tried to identify uh, with your knowledge but were unable to do so. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just move a little bit further along the balcony. Okay. Leopold. Till I'm right near where Fleet would be. Uh, I have to roll 1d100, right? See if I can... Oh, yeah. Confusion. Oh, yeah. Nope. Uh, apparently, I attacked the nearest creature, so Leopold is going to... Kills and assist. He's actually going to shoot Havelock. Probably. Yeah. So he takes seven damage. Ah. Oh, God, is that... oh God, is that what you've been doing to people? We're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurt. That's enough. You got things hitting us for Put your gun away, idiot. I'm just babbling incoherently. <laughs> Cynesis. All right, I'm going to rush up to have one. And, uh... Wait, I'm gonna rush, I'm gonna rush this way. Oh God! Ah, uh, there's a door. Maybe. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that's just, that's the there. Bounces off the door. Like, oh wait. Um. <laughs> okay. Zinesis is permanently. There. Are you gonna? Okay. Sure. Okay. Why does Zinesis hurt? By the way. You can't stand there. I can't stand there. There okay. is a big rock. Well, I'm trying to. It's like literally right at that stair edge. Yep. That's where Pretty I'm trying to put my character. Oh, okay. Yeah, then, then that, then that square is fine um, where you wanted to be. Yeah. You okay. just can't reach Leopold if that's your goal. I'm not. I just said Havelock. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Zinesis, why are you hurt already? What, did something happen? I did not heal myself before the game. That's why. Oh. Yeah. Um, we... Yeah. I'm the only person who can do that. Uh, That's fine because I'm a cleric. It's okay. We'll all be fine. I'm going to cast Maybe Guardian Faith. Fine. 
Oh yeah, that's a good one. Like Shield of Faith and Protection from Evil, all in okay. one. Okay. Wait, what'd she give me? Guardian Faith. Guardian Faith. Um, something notable for you, Xenesis, yeah. in the future. Um, protection from evil gives your friends another save, or instantaneously removes negative effects that are evil from your friends. But so a, a spell that an evil person casts on them. So people who are under the effects of, say, confusion from an evil creature. Right, but. Hmm. Well, I'm just save trying to like summarize. Well, because this one's a really short summary or or definition of what it is. Is it it gives you the choice or protection of evil, along with like that's what the shield of faith is. You get shield of faith, and you get protection from evil. Exactly. Or or chaos, good or law, depending on which one. Right, point. and just and as... then have lock if you wanted to could touch Leopold and give him. Guardian oh, the target faith, can but... transfer this spell to a yeah. touched ally. That's what's nice about it. Oh, I did not realize that. That's cool, but I'm going to need my turn to... Yeah, the, I, that's this. what I figured. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Um, yeah, so, Miss Yibthulp is going to do some things that you won't like. Mm -hmm. She's okay. gonna grab Havelock and smash him into her big green titties. Quite Disgusting. possibly. Apparently, she wants it. Um. So, also from your your knowledge, um, from earlier, um, Leopold, if you weren't confused, um, you would be able to share with your friends that the thing that is special about this particular marsh giant is that she is Brian born. Uh, which essentially means that she is salty. like salty, salty yeah. sailor lady. Disgusting. It sounds like she's trying to make it spicy rather than salty. Could be. Um. So spell-like abilities, I believe she still can't use without provoking you. Um. So she is for sure uh, going to hit you with her great club, uh, which you probably aren't going to enjoy Me? much. Yep. Okay, I'm going to use instant judgment for protection. Uh, let's see, I have protection from evil. I also get 2 AC from that. And 32 I have out of 19. Well, 19 is going to miss. Uh, anyway, 32 is going to hit anyway. Okay. Uh, 24 damage. Yeah, great. Love Bonk. it. That'd be worse. Huge chunk of Havelock's health goes away. <laughs> you kind of got. I've with, seen like... you in worse conditions, Havelock. Um, so she notices that her her titties haven't had the desired effect on you, Havelock, um, and that you have ran up and swung at her, and she reels back and swings her great club at you and gives you a nice clobbering across the face. Um, <sighs> but then her second swing. You've learned your lesson, and you you dive out of the way, um, <laughs> narrowly uh, avoiding her um, her backswing, I suppose. Travis, you're bad at this. You're not supposed to give the DM any ideas ever. Plea. <laughs> um, Plea is going to five foot step over here just to ensure a flanking bonus. Uh, I actually don't think she has any feats. Really? Oh. Yeah. I thought that's, that's how we tracked her here. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm mailing the Oscar to you now. <laughs> what? She needs you have an Oscar titties because it's a. She needs a brosker. God, I know. <laughs> I could have just stopped. I flew uh, too close stopped. to the sun. We brought down the house, and then you immediately <laughs> were like, "No, I can't stand this pressure." Uh, three of those, I think, hit. Oh, I lied. She does yeah. have stuff. Oh, well, yeah, because she had rock. Uh, she does have vital strike, but she doesn't have greater. Oh, oh, oh! Don't. Okay, don't, don't use. Just keep doing full round attacks, please. When you use an attack action, you can make one attack against at your highest base attack bonus that deals additional damage. Roll the weapon's damage dice 
for the attack twice and add the results together before adding bonuses from strength. So it's basically a crit. Yeah. But without your added damage. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. There's a character in my ga uh, the game that I run that is running it with a guan. And it is so insane. if she knows she's going to hit on her first swing, Vital Strike is better. Otherwise, multiple attacks yeah. is going to be... It's useful Better for damage. high AC targets because if you're more likely to miss yeah, it would second, be. third, fourth, you just hit him with the one that does a lot. It's also good for DR because there's no clustered shots. Right, for, yeah. Anyway. Mm. And it's core. I didn't know about this until recently. It also um, works well with power attack. Do I hit her? Blah. Hello? Is this thing on? Yes. Yes, you're oh, on okay. and we hear you. You're good, you're good. Okay, uh, that is a bunch of misses, but you do hit with your first punch. I have flanking, so does that help me hit with the other two? It's, uh, 30, 25, and 26. You... Yes, I think it does. That looks like it would be quite a bit, yeah. More damage. Elix. Guys, I uh, did damage with punches. I've never done this before. <laughs> you should give it a try. Pretty good damage. Uh, I am going to see what the nearest door is. I'm just gonna, just gonna kind of try to stealthily open that. <laughs> see if I can look inside. Jesus, uh, I just, <laughs> I get I smashed across the face with a fucking mast. And then I just see the door upstairs just kind of open and shut. Yep. <laughs> like, bye. Uh, so yeah, check the nearest door. Like in perception or whatever. Uh, sure. That's really odd. <laughs> I actually think that door scratching. might be ground level because it looks like that it's door a road. Is, but you said that there were a couple up here, and I'm just going to the nearest one. I think they're I both thought. ground level. That's so weird. Yeah, they I are. Assume I should they be on they are map. ground level. You you can't actually see doors up here. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's not like hallways or anything. There's just a balcony. Yeah, there's just a balcony up here. I guess. <laughs> okay. Um. God, that's fucking weird. Well, um. I still don't want to waste this invisibility. Well, good I wouldn't course. worry too much about yeah. it. It's not like I've used all my spells for the day. Eh, I'm just gonna come down here. <laughs> She's just taking a tour of the house. Yeah. Okay. Well, you don't know. Uh, <laughs> I imagine, yeah. like, if this is a movie, the, the scenes with the rest of you guys would be just, like, crazy Action fucking violent. Crazy oh, no, adventures, and then, like, Elix is just kind of like, like man doing a thing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, Groot in the, uh, in the first part of uh, Guardians 2. Oh, where yeah. Just kinda, like, running around doing stuff. Dancing. Um, uh, so, Leopold, if you want to give me your confusion roll. Tell me why this is a land of confusion. Oh, 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 oh. 63 uh, you deal 28 myself. points of damage plus strength to yourself with the item in your hand so I guess you beat your forehead with your gun cool luckily you have no strength also why is it minus 1 I thought you had like 7 strength minus 1 strength I have a <laughs> so you guys just see Leopold just bashing I'm the gun to, against yeah, his but, face but it looks like yep. I'm trying to snap myself out this thing is for cracking nuts. Mm. All right, uh, I will shall. I shall. Uh, I'm gonna heal. Lovely Havelock. So you can go on while I. Sure. Uh, did I get skipped? No. Mm, yes. Mm, yes, he did. Because he definitely. Because I got didn't. hit last time. I didn't have a turn didn't in between do them. <laughs> Havelock has only attacked once. In... Yeah, yep. at, one, at one turn. Alright. 
Okay, you seem upset about that. No, I. Uh, I have fine. flanking. I have outflank, and I will. Uh, I'll use my bane uh, against this humanoid. And... There you go, Havlock. And... I caress your back. You got this. You got this. Well, it's my turn, but sure. Well, I know, um, but I was going to heal you before you went. Yeah, full round attack. That's not a full round attack. I guess I didn't put... Oh, I didn't activate the other one. Whatever. I wasn't going to hit anyway. Uh, yeah. Yep, that first swing will hit. Uh, second one Once. will not. 27 plus... 9. Okay. Alright, she's going to go now. Matra tua, cricetta fuit! That's what I say. I'm doing Latin phrases now. Oh my god. I'm goodness. an inquisitor. Sure. Why not? Um, racist. Exactly. I don't think that spell like abilities can be interrupted in the same way as casting a spell. No. They cannot. So do they still provoke AOOs? Uh, if they take Using an action, like they ability, do? Yes. Or no. Using a spell-like really? ability will trigger an AOO, but I don't know if the AOO will make her lose the spell. I don't think it's real concentration, spell. though. Yeah. Because I don't think she can, like... Oh, no, there is concentrate. There's concentration listed next to her spell-like abilities in parentheses, so I assume that that must be what she's able to do. I'm thinking supernatural abilities. <laughs> yeah, supernatural do not trigger AOLs at all. Spell-like abilities are spells that you just get for free. Oh, yeah, she succeeds at casting defensively. Uh, that's a that's a 34 right there. Uh, so, Why yeah. is her spell casting so high? <laughs> She doesn't have like anything. She has like two spells. Um, but anyway, so she successfully casts Fog Cloud, um, which I will fill the room with shortly. Um. Did you add Zenesis's heal? It's it. I did plus twenty eight, and then it just set my health to twenty eight. So you can subtract in that box, but apparently you can't add. You can add. Usually, you can add. Well, I did that, and it didn't do it. That's weird. So. Well, we I don't know. do we round? Do we round up with healing or round down? Down. Everything's round down. Everything rounds down, but I'm in a move. Round down town. Okay. Um. So there is now a fog cloud in this room. I don't like. Of course. It. Uh. That gives like partial concealment to things like night or next year, right? I believe it is total. Um, it obscures all sight, including dark vision beyond five feet. A creature within five feet has concealment. Um, anything farther away has total concealment. Okay. So, so she has twenty percent missed chance um, from you all at this point. Cool. Okay. Um. 20% mischance is not that bad. Says the person who's only rolling two attacks. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am going to uh, haul back and change my protection judgment to destruction. Boop, boop, boo. Yeah, and then uh, uh, swing at her again. Full round. Oof. Not great rolls for my second attack. Or my first. Why are you doing us like that? RN Jesus. Six and a five. Uh, 27 will hit. The second attack is how much? A 19. 23. Or do you have outflank in there? I already have outflank in. That's why the I rolled a five and a six, right, and, the, so and it's so damage high. Is... <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Plus uh, six. 
All right. Uh, let me see if that actually hits. It does indeed. Yeah. Plea. Cool. I will flurry once again. Um, well, that first one's up. But I mean, it's a 24, 28, 22. So that's I think one that's hit. Third. Well, there's one yeah. potential hit. One potential hit. Low. Um, you hit with that one. Cool. 14 damage. Alex? Uh, I'm going to uh, attempt to follow the wall up here. Okay. Uh, holding out one hand and skirting away from this looming shape that's near me. Uh, and I'm going to try this door. Underneath the stairs? All right, cool. Yeah, this, this first one right here. Just see what happens. Um, it like is not as locked, as and it, it opens uh, without any issue, revealing the hallway behind it. And uh, I'm just going to step in there. And, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> close uh, it behind me. Leopold? Let's see what your confused face does this time. I do nothing. Do nothing but babble incoherently. Hmm. Uh, sorry, I skipped you, Zenesis, but it is your turn. Nah, it's a, I don't think you did skip me. Um, it, oh, you moved the roll. You. Okay. Gotcha. Huh. Alrighty. I suppose since we're in a fog, can't really do. Can't really do anything. Fireball. I don't have that prepared. Shoot it. That was an option. <laughs> All right. Mm. Your your weapon already has protection from evil. Um. Can I'm just gonna move. Actually, you know what? Um. I'm gonna prepare to spell magic, and I'm gonna hold it till she casts something else. Can I do that? Sure, if you want to. Okay, that's yeah. what I'll do. Or you could shoot her. Good. Um, nope. We already gave an answer, so we're going to move on. Um, cool. She is... I believe... Has one thing left that she can try to do here. That's a rock? In order to get away from the mean man with the big sword who keeps stabbing her. Uh, slashing. Uh, McStab and slash. Yeah, she is not happy with the Inquisitor who is beating the living snot out of her. Um, so she is going to cast... Um, bestow curse on Havelock. Cool. Does my dispel work? I... You'll need to roll a caster check. Yeah. I'm not hmm. sure how that works, so you're gonna have to walk me through it. Isn't that just? No. So dispel magic is has a lot of different ways that you can use it. You can target an object, creature, or spell. I guess that's what this would be. It's counterspell effect. Counterspell. When dispel magic uses this way, tar the spell targets a spellcaster and is cast as a counterspell. Actually, Zoo, why don't you? Your this is your thing. Well, basically, I was holding my that spell, so when she did cast him. Yes, but I could look up the now, rules now, for now, it. now you have to look at the rule for how it works. For how? Okay. The, so the rule is to. Give the GM the information about how what you're doing works. All right. So, so there's an ongoing spell, and I can temporarily um, suppress it. I don't think this would fall into that. I believe that what you're attempting to do is a counter spell because you declared that when she casts magic, you are going to use dispel magic to mm -hmm. stop her. That is a counter spell. Yeah. And there is a provision for that on, in the description of Dispel Magic. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, it you must make a spell you... check to counter the other spellcaster's spell. Right. Which I believe is just a counter cast level check. Mm -hmm. Uh, dispel magic. Yeah, it's just d20 plus level. Casting defensively adds your. Uh... Oh, actually, yeah, you need to identify the spell. I think. I don't think she'd really need to identify it so much as knowing. Well, it says spells. it functions as counterspell. Mm. You may choose. Okay. But counter. Which I assume so you is the identify the spell. Jeez. Well, Arcanists have a cool exploit to counter. Yeah, spell. that's a different thing than uh, yeah. the counter spells under magic I get that. rules. I'm excited. Um, yeah. To use counter spell, you must select an opponent as the target of counter spell. You do this by choosing to ready an action, which you did. In order to, in doing so, you elect to wait to complete your action until your opponent tries to cast a spell, which you did. Uh, you may still move your normal speed, blah, blah, blah. If the target of your counter spell tries to cast a spell, make a spellcraft check. Um, mm -hmm. If the check succeeds, you correctly identify the spell and can attempt to counter it. So I need spellcraft from you. Okay. Sweet. Okay, that will succeed. So you do identify this as bestow curse. Um, t -t 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 so you can attempt to counter it now. Uh, to complete the action, you must then cast the appropriate spell. So in this case, it's being replaced by Dispel Magic. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That so, is it's like 1d20 plus your level? Or that's just... Because Concentration is 1d20 plus a level. Uh, you can usually use Dispel Magic to counter another spell being cast without needing to identify the spell being cast. Dispel Magic doesn't always work as counter spells. See spell description, blah, blah, blah. Um, it, you treat it as cam, uh, targeted dispel. So there's no saving throws. Except for it's target on the spellcaster instead of a spell. So it's d20 plus your caster level, and the DC is 11 plus the spellcaster's level. Yeah, your dispel check is going to be your caster level check. So that's 11. Right. Uh, no, it'd be 20 plus oh. 9. Oh, 20 your plus level 9. d20 plus 9. There we go. That was a 10. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yikers. Yeah. Whoops, rolled the wrong one. Well, the, the 14 is quite low. Hopefully, but still curses. Uh, Probably not. Spell. Actually, no, it's not a third level spell. It's the caster level Am spell. Am I allowed level. to burn no, your up? Point and reroll it or no? Uh, if you want to. Those are Does more precious in this game than they oh, are in okay. some games. All right. Um, well, I'll just let you get cursed then. Yeah. I, I haven't even failed to save yet, so yeah. I don't know. Plus, I have protection from evil. Uh, so and that, I will use instant judgment for purity. Ha <laughs> ha! I fucking love this goddamn. <laughs> that one. Oh wait, yeah, here's your action for the next one. You're good. Exactly. You're good. I believe it is a will save. Pure. That certainly makes sense to me. Fences. Yeah, we'll save. Will. Nice. Yeah, you shake it Looking off, no problem. Damn. Best save and solid. 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 protection go. from evil plus uh, purity. I'm fucking, um, I'm fucking full of Parasma's love right now. Um, and with that, <laughs> she attempts to... Uh, basically leave uh so she walks past you uh do i know aoos you do get an aoo here yeah that's what i fucking what i'm gonna I'm attempt a cool. stunning fist with my AOL. well actually do you get aoos in concealment that's it's not a question concealment. it's so, not total yeah. concealment you do see her moving yeah i think i'll rule that you do for uh yeah. first swing only yep 
Uh, my first swing as well, but it's going to be a uh, stunning fist. So if it hits, um, unfortunately, I rolled a 19 on the, your percentage chance to hit, so you miss your swing with your sword. Dang it! Um, but plea. Lows. I Lose rolled a five. Yay! Wow. A oh, lows to hit. I said lows to hit. How come he got to pick? <laughs> I didn't get to pick. No. Well, you didn't yell it out. No, no, no. I... I yelled it out before you rolled. I'm not given the choices to pick, though. <laughs> Sorry. But if I call your dice, <laughs> I should get that. Uh... I, don't, I actually agree with Chris. I would not allow it. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't understand the giving the high-low option. To, to me, like I, I used to give the high-low, but it just adds confusion. So I've just been, yeah. I've just been rolling it a flat way. And... Yeah. Okay. That's I do the same thing. I assume That's low is miss. So yeah, so you, you both whiff it, unfortunately. But she already cast something, so she can't, like, full-on run uh, this round. Yeah. What is her movement, even? I must admit, I don't actually know. Oh, Probably that's not... Far. Probably 40 big. feet's not bad. Yeah. She's big things large. usually have higher movement. Yep. I want to put her back there just so I can use the right-click thing. So she is, at this juncture, attempting to flee. <laughs> the way All the right. lighting is... Go ahead. Uh, I step up here. What is? What kind of action are you going to rule it for me to uh, touch um, Leopold and cast Guardian of Faith, or transfer Guardian of Faith I to did, him? I don't know what the rules are for that spell. So it just Oh, says you literally you have touch, to use touch the person. It says you may touch them and transfer the spell. So I would assume that's a free like action. Yeah, okay. Unless it specifically will... says otherwise. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't say like that, but it's very vague on it. It doesn't say it costs standard action. So I'm gonna uh... as a move action, the target can transfer this spell to a touched ally. So it's a move okay. action then. It does. It. The target gains the benefit of shield of faith and your choice of protection from whatever as a move action the target. Can oh yeah, you're right. It does say that ally. as a move action, target transfer this spell to. Then it's a move right. action. Yep. Uh, in that case, I will use my move action to touch uh, Leopold and uh, put Guardian of Faith on him. Okay. Does that um, allow me? Which allows just... him to re-roll? Yes. Um, I believe that it actually. I think that um, Protection from Evil actually dispels this. Hold on. Uh, no, you do immediately allow. You do immediately get another saving throw. With plus two bonus. And I will use my standard. Oh yeah, you succeed. You're no longer confused. I use my Yay. standard to chase this lady. Um, I guess I'll just move to here. Good choice. Plea. And I'll just <sighs> help. Leopold, trip her! Stop her! She's getting away! We have to murder this creature! Pull it together, man! Quit hitting yourself with your gun! Yeah, I, I just slap him as I run past him. <laughs> Get it together, man. Oh, dude, I think I actually have that teamwork feat now. Oh, the thing where we can smack the shit out of you if you have a... Yeah. Not, a teammate can deal non-lethal damage uh, to give me another save. I think I have that. Let me look. I, uh, I could pistol whip you for non-lethal damage. I, I run around to here, uh, and I roll acrobatics. That's a yeah. small lot of attack. Uh, yeah, I took... Focusing blow. That's to avoid play. the AOO against her CMT. Wait, is there an AOO? For running through threatened squares? Yeah. Unless she's not threatening. <laughs> I'm running past her. I mean, if she did a full, yeah. full retreat. Sorry, I was getting water in the kitchen. So I can't actually oh, sure. see what it is there that you go. did. No. <laughs> I, I, I'm flanking her, which means I'm in front of her, which means I walked around her. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so she will attempt to attack you. Wait, do, is, does 32 beat her CMD? Uh, good point. <laughs> CMD is 35, so nope. No, wow, okay. So she does attempt to hit me in this square. She's and if she does hit. Big old lady. Uh, 33 to hit. That, that will hit me. 
Uh, you will take 23 points of damage where you stand. Ow. Like, seriously. <laughs> Plea is shocked that he's never been hit before as he tried to go around. Somewhere. No! Yib, leave! <laughs> Yib, leave! She just keeps repeating that. Um, wait, what? 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 You gonna I attack? Attempted... I don't care. Do it. Okay. I, I attempt a stunning fist again. You Do it. Donkey puncher in the back of the head. Fucking. Fucking A. Okay. That's a whiff. That's Felix. Felix is in another room. Exploring the house. Passageway a little bit. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, we're creeping a lot. And, uh, just kind of. I think that's probably about as far as I'm going to go. All right, Leopold. They see me creeping, they can see me from the shadow. Five foot. I'm going to trip. Bang. Up. Fuck her. Do it. I would have confused her, but at the same time. Uh, that's tripping. dangerous. That's just it dangerous. dangerous. Uh, and I'll reload with the bandolier. I can't fire again, but I assume 25 times. Yeah. Oh, a big, big ass creature like that. Yeah. So ten damage and she's on the floor. Ugh, so she Jesus. has to stand up, which provokes AOOs from everybody. Run train on her. <laughs> or it would if she was conscious. Oh hey, <laughs> I knocked her. Did it? Oh hey. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Net gain. Noise. Um, uh, and I believe we ooh. will call it there. Because uh, it is a bit late I was now. Just about to request that because I got to be up real. Yep. All right. Who house early for you? Say what? You you I are on ha- you're on weekend. Shut up. Oh, yeah, I was about to say it's early for so you. So am I. Uh, not very early for most people. Nine o'clock. I wake but, up. It's early uh, for me. Yeah, yeah, I I I'm either like up till three, uh, or I'm I'm usually like up. At, 